What do you mean I was? I wasn't late. I was live at five thirty. Hold on. We wait a minute. We need to check the. What do they? What do they do to? What do they do to take the time? Like the International Mars clock. There's a crazy clock somewhere that's like true time. That wouldn't help us with anything, though, would it? Someone look into this. It's so important. Atomic clock. Yes. Just got back from Japan. Did you know there is a samurai town you can go to and dress up like a samurai? Great to meet photos. 28 months with you, Green Prince. 21 months. I've had three babies and you've paid no child support. Hi. I like the juice. You're late. No, I wasn't. I simply wasn't. I was not. I was on. Media shares pause because we're gonna finish the queue tonight. So you guys donating media, One I'm gonna have to play it manually right now. Here's Why do I more. say that? Because Love somebody just lives. donated a song, and I don't want to be accountable if the song sucks. Okay, so this song comes from Dames of Games. All right, so you get everybody lock and load and just get ready to unleash if it's bad. Oh. <sighs> I'm kidding. It's still good. We're, we're not there yet. Somebody said you got a new friend. Does she love you better than I can? I am gay for you, Dennis. This big black sky. Bro, can you believe this has 80 million views? It's so okay. Shut up! Sorry. I will say, though, this song uh, uh, reminded me of what I, I believe to be... I'm not saying you can, can just compare every song, right? That's not what I'm saying. But this song reminded me of a song that I like more, which I'm going to play for you right now. Bro, 
at the at, at the later chorus, she's gonna go this time, baby. She puts a little. It's just. to the other song i just Happy like this one more it's so good oh what are we are we streaming just to remind you just to bring you back a second this was that other one actually i kind of like it more <laughs> I feel like I, I got bulletproof out of my system, but I like this one a Before little more than I dead. thought I did. Now, I'm not going to say that Daddy bulletproof is worse. Happy little I'm not going to lie. When did After hearing bulletproof, I'm like, this one isn't that bad. <laughs> Bro, we've been lied to, though. This is how clubs are presented. Clubs are so awful clubs are like one of the worst I donated places that song to end when she says big black but it's still a bop amount true fair clubs are so terrible oh my god i don't know why human being nerd i don't care dude if you i'm sorry but you have like a five-year window to think clubs are cool and after that window if you think clubs are cool you're the balding dude who buys a bottle and waits for women to approach him i'm sorry but clubs are so they're the worst like why did we think that this was a good idea ever? I mean, it's, it is, they're horrific. And I always say this when people, if it ever gets brought up, our friends, oh, go, go to club. I'm like, listen, I can only tolerate, Clubs are made of zip. I can tolerate a club if I'm on so many drugs that I don't realize I'm at the club. And then you have this moment of, wait, then why are we going to a club? Meet me at the disco, discotheque? That's how you spell discotheque? Yo, everybody, Google the word discotheque right now. You're gonna be, you're, it's gonna, chat's looking whack. Chat looking a little tiny. There you guys go. How you feeling now? Feeling better? Huh? You awake? Sorry about that. You guys are a little slit. I'm right over here. This is not, see, the, the, you're doing this if you're on drugs. Why can't you see me? That kind of looked like Ludwig there for a second. You should play Silver Tooth by Armani White. It reminds me a lot of Hotel Lobby. $400, $400 bottles of Goose are pretty lame. That is true. And I would say that's even kind of cheap. Um, we Anyway. All right. Hello, everyone. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. I didn't hear what song you told me to play. Otherwise, I would have played it. I'm, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. My dad passed away this morning. Oh, I'm going to try that again. 
came at that one a little different and I I'm not even making a joke out of it. Just trying to keep the energy up. I'm not <laughs> fuck. God, let me get this off the screen too. Hold on, there's a lot going on here. Um let's try that again. I'm sorry. Is your dad little Tay? Sorry. Okay. My dad passed away. Is that I too said silver tooth by Armani White? <laughs> silver tooth. Okay, thank you. Uh Hey, Let's get it hop off a 16 passenger. This AG5? No, this not a challenger. Wait, I'm one. sorry. I'm I doing the thing again. With me and what the was the name of the song? <laughs> I did it again. I'm sorry. He's donated twice now. <laughs> what was the name of the song that that guy keeps asking for? It's like Silver Fang. What is it? Oh, God. Somebody has to know. Bait? Not bait. Just put it in chat, you fucking morons. Silver too. Thank you. Thank you. Silver Fang. Hold on. Oh, this guy's dad died. Fuck. Okay. Holy shit. What is stream tonight? Hello. Hey, man. Sorry about your dead dad. Seriously, that would be... Uh, that would be... That's... That, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you either. Dad, I guess, but... Thanks for those bits. <laughs> All right, Silver Fang. By who is it by? Holy shit, Bobby. I'm sorry. Who is it by? Who is it by? Tooth? Oh, God. Chat, can we restart? Oh. <laughs> You're already drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk at all. That's the thing. Silver Tooth. The Silver song? fucking Tooth by Armani White. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This better be worth it after everything we just went through to to fucking play it. Oh, he's got to have a silver tooth, and I was just a pup. Yeah, now I got some killers. Wait, is this the one? Is this the guy who goes that big chip, big chip, Billy Eilish? Is that this? Is that this song though? Not the same song. Oh, I see. Hey, did the thing! It was, this wasn't worth it. Yeah, we disrespected that dude's dad, and and for what? For what, Chad? Was it worth it? I don't think so. Got mad, punched a desk, spilled beer. I deserved all of it. Who did you get mad at? I learned that at a young age. Uh, the eight, uh, I was in. I think I was. When? How old was I when Xbox 360 was a thing? Probably a while. It was out for a while. Anyway, I learned that. Like, yeah, when you people who damage their own property when they're mad, it's like, bro, what? Why? I remember I broke my own controller when I was like a kid. I was a kid, man. I was like high school teenager, and I broke my own controller, and then I was like, damn. That was like, like now I'm more mad and I'm mad at myself and my brain is frantically trying to find somebody else to blame. Why is it so loud? Hold on, let me turn this down. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Aut I don't know why I gargled when I said that. Thank you, Autumn Adder for the 10 other subs too. Gingivitis, thank you. Tiny Brain Kayla, thank you. Gingivitis again. A lot of gingivitis, thank you. Gargle these nuts. Even worse, I'm 30. Hey man, it's never too late to not break your own shit when you get mad. Break somebody else's shit. You know? Break in to someone's house. Permanently damage their sense of security. Forever. Uh, hi, Wubby, say it back. Hello. Hello. And Captain Butt Licker. Or Butt Blue Bear. Thank you for the five. Thank you. Uh, there's a new Captain Disillusion video. Bro, I got called out by a Captain Disillusion video just the other day. It was 4 a.m. It was the middle of the night right or morning whatever depending on how late you guys stay up and he was like talking about how he was going to go really in depth and most of his audience might not find it interesting but he said maybe to those watching on their second monitor at 4 a.m i this is so lame nobody cares i took a screenshot because i was like i want to remember this forever i'll give you a cox update but he was on my second monitor and it was at 4 a.m and i'm like i just got called out so hard that's so weird why is that weird don't make fun of me What'll be at 4, what'll be 4 a.m. is when I wake up. Okay, but let me ask you a question. 
Let me ask you a question. If you didn't have to wake up at 4 a.m., would you? Then what? Then we, come on, man. Then we're the same. We're the same. You know? Okay. I'll, I'll get... No. Exactly, chat. Exactly. I like to be up. Hey, Wubby, did you hear Lil Tay died? <laughs> okay. We're going to talk. We have a lot to talk about. Kai Sinat stream today. That's... God, that's really interesting. Thank you. I need you to give me a running tally of who streamed today in general. And I want everyone. Don't miss a single streamer, please. Uh, so, Cox, my internet, what's the update? Well, the update is um, I, if, if stream goes down again today, uh, I have another phone call to make because I got a call. To, I got woken up today to a call uh, from co again, uh, despite some uh, actual brain deads on the uh, subreddit. I am not dealing with like Cox, the number you can call. I'm getting calls from uh, a specific branch, I don't know, area of Cox that handles FCC complaints. I've noticed that they are not, uh, we don't know what we're doing. We have no power. I'm just a, a lowly random, please don't. I'm just a random guy. I just show up. I don't want to do this for a living. Hey, what that's not what I'm talking to. Guy's dad died? <laughs> I, I did not actually. Rip father. Anyway, um, the, I get a call from him. It's this dude this morning, and he goes, "Hey, just following up." And I told him, "I'm like, hey, I the 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 my stream went down. I already called and left a message. Uh, that guy texted me back, apologizing, yada yada. He said everything should be good now, and I haven't tested it since then." He goes, "Okay, I want you to monitor it tonight." He's like, "We're monitoring you guys. It should work. Everything should be good." He said, "It should be staying up." Uh, with very, very little to none interruption. So please let me know if it interrupts again. So he gave me his personal number this time. And if that happens, I will be calling him again. But they're capping. I mean, listen, I have never had this much attention uh, from my ISP. So the FCC complaint did work. I will say it worked in that they are now frantically trying to, and this is all my opinion. I know have no authority. I'm a big internet retard. I don't know what I'm saying. In my opinion, it comes off as them frantically trying to make this seem like they weren't throttling. If it happens again, you're sending me his number. I could do that, TT. <laughs> I mean, they, it's, it's, it's a, I'll tell you this. It's a different beast. Um, normally when I call like the normal Cox helpline, they're like, sir, I don't, like, half of them don't even really know. They have this like, uh, dialogue that they go through their little dialogue tree options, right? But this one's different. I feel like I, I don't know how to describe it. It's they're less fake with me, but I can. There's this still this thin layer hey, son, of like you you're not going to admit it. Died. All right, pee me. Postmortem. I did touch the chicken. Thank you. Yes. It's almost like they're real people. No, they just. I think they know if they're getting FCC complaints. This isn't grandma having internet troubles anymore. This is real shit, and this is people who are potentially allegedly with no proof onto their bullshit so the fcc won't let you be it won't let 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 that let that let them be so let me be me worked at a cable provider for five years they take fcc complaints very that's my point exactly it's like they actually give a shit now they actually give a shit um imagine having to jerk off your jerk off your cox internet for service what you're legally required to exactly you have business class internet right so uh no, because we did do business, business internet, which was like three, four hundred dollars a month. We did that. It did not improve the issues we were having even slightly. So we just can't. That was years ago that we canceled that because it was it was there was no measurable improvement. Legit question because I'm stupid. What's the purpose of the FCC in this situation? What is that? What leverage does that give you? So I reported to the FCC that the internet I'm paying for is not being provided by my ISP, alleging potential throttling based on the evidence I have submitted. The FCC goes to them and goes, you need to fix this shit. You need to figure this out. You need to make sure that this isn't happening. We are going to yeah regulate what's going on here. Hey, Cox, we're getting complaints from customers. You, you That cannot happen. This is a this is Roblox. This is why we need government. Please, you know what? I want you guys to have that conversation in my chat and make sure you uh, give me a fake opinion and put it on the subreddit. That would I be helpful. I do say, still file the FCC complaint even if it's fixed. I, if you have course. to go through all this BS just to get what you paid for, that's, that's still worth writing about. I agree. I agree. Oh, uh, okay. So digits. that's it. That's Can't internet should be a utility. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, a cab. Am I right? All right. All right. Um, have you played Battlebit? No, but we're gonna do it on the um, on the subathon. All right, I'm drinking the new hey, flavor. Hey, Wubby, Booty subs. here. 
Have Hi, you buddy. heard of Maynard time yet? What? I send my regards with this one. This whole time with the Cox situation, I was confusing FCC with the FDA. Maynard time? I'm looking it up. What is this? Oh, or should I say, hey, son, did you this? hear that zip died? Hey, son, did the fucking season change and I wasn't informed? It's awfully no. cold in this stream. No, no, no. Um, no, we're, do we're finishing a media share as one of the many things we're doing tonight. All right, this is what somebody just suggested to for me to watch. I don't know what this is. Does this person have Down syndrome? I need to measure how much I can say about them. I guess we'll let him speak first. I don't know who is this. A, some is this a stream? Is this a fan of stream? Who is this? Oop! I shouldn't have said that. Oh, they do have Down syndrome. I don't know who this is. I'm not trying to be mean. Oh my god! I'm already saying the wrong things. Apparently. Uh, hold on. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me. I gotta make this snap to the center. Okay. There we go. This is a boy. That's all we know. Oh, that's muted. I'm sorry. Is this what you're talking about? Do not watch this. Me watching Wubby like, does this person have Down syndrome? <laughs> Move on. Well, now I can't. He's not retarded. He's just white. Hey, guys. Okay. A little loud. It's May not time. <laughs> Better. Um. Um. Oh, um. Um. <laughs> I love this fucking guy. <laughs> it's my birthday today. I'm 30. Can you tell me everything is okay? P.S. Is Alex in the elderly dating pool? Everything. Everything's okay. No. Maybe. Uh, and happy birthday. I fucking love this guy. This guy's so funny. Is this what you wanted me to watch? So does this guy just fart on things? Does he? Is there? Well, now I gotta learn. I gotta learn more about him. And also, I want to be clear here. Hold on. I know that what I've said maybe just came out of pocket a little bit about it, does this man have Down syndrome? And I don't want people to think that I was being like uh, purposefully rude. But please just look at my Google results when I pulled him up and tell me this doesn't look like a you know Down syndrome sloth or something. Like like I'm I'm serious. I didn't just pull that out to be mean. I'm that like, oh, does this person have teeth? like summer here, summer there? He is. Wait, he. Wait, he is. Oh no, guys. I okay. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Okay. I just pulled up the first video and I thought it was just a guy being a goofball. Now, so I felt comfortable. Rocky Road <sighs> sloth love chunk. Stop. So this person does have some sort of mental disability. Well, then good. Good for him. Hey, I hope he's happy. I hope the content's making him money, and I hope he's doing a great time. Just apologize. Don't apologize. Dig it. If the dude has a disability, well, we bro talk about punching downs, you know. Right I ain't got time. That guy looks like he just found the last dandelion of the season in Ice Age. Stop! Chat! Stop! Stop! I'm clicking on one of these. Obviously, I'm obviously gonna click on one of these. Let's do the one of him in the tank top. I love the gun show that we're getting with this. Here we go. Gun show. Hey guys, it's May Night Time. No, this guy's not. This guy does not have Down syndrome. I promise. I know you guys can't see right now. I'm not. <laughs> Fuck. TikTok on desktop. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 Um, I, I, this, peanut, this is peanut butter. I believe this is peanut. You know what? No. I believe wholeheartedly this is peanut butter this is peanut butter and we are all it has to be it doesn't it looks like peanut butter nobody poops so creamy <laughs> speaking of you see the netflix trailer for down to love yo fun fact downs is an anagram for zip two downs one cup <laughs> Son, that wasn't very nice. I'm going to need you to say 10 Hail Marys and donate to Autism Speaks or No Brand Risk for a week. Fair. It's really important to find love because that's what makes you human. I'm looking for love of a girl who is brilliant, intelligent, beauty both inside and outside. This is straight up like... <laughs> very cute. This is very cute. This is straight up like very cute. My puppet man could be funny, generous, and kind. He's very young. 
God. Hey, big guy, are you going to be playing Baldur's Gate 3 on stream at all? No. I think that would be so fucking cool. Oh, my God, that would be so cool. Or even on a secret stream, like a second account. Bro, imagine that's so cool. Fuck. Okay, I'm just going to say this now. The, the straight up, this feels like a documentary based on my chat. It, it like, just straight, especially after that, don't... Oh, are you going to play this new game? It's so cool. It's so cool. Are you going to play it? Are you going to play it? Bro, on... Hey, Wubby Lord okay. Asika here. Up! Just became a lawyer and a five-year sub recently. So oh, I can congrats. represent you in your child poke case. Thank you. My child poke case? That's... Would you really represent me, though? I don't think you would. <laughs> All right, I'm, I muted these real quick. This guy's got the drip though. He's got the uh, the, the the Maui. What's the um uh? What you get? Okay. Slim and blonde. Are you romantic, Libby? People say that I I'm a hopeless romantic, so I guess so. Yeah, I'm down for love. Yes, I am. Turns my phone. We all want love, companionship, Th and affection. Can we watch this on stream? I'll be very transformative. <laughs> to love and be loved. Will you be my boyfriend? But finding that special person isn't always easy. Tip of the day, treat you as a princess. Bro, dude, let the shirt in the hot tub that's not even on goes hard. This series follows- You know, I want all of you to take it. You can laugh and you can be mean and whatever, right? I'm not your fucking father, but just know that there's a lot of you that are more lonely than- these motherfuckers that dude when was the last time chat you were in the hot tub with a honey okay listen i know it's easy to point and laugh people are different than me but guess what i see one big difference you got your arm around no one okay now i know i'm giving some drive-bys isn't that funny sweetheart don't you agree This series follows New Zealanders living with Down syndrome as they go on a series of dates. I have some butterflies in my stomach right now. You scrub up well? Exploring. <clears throat> Why do I gotta make fun of you guys? Because listen, I already made a couple Down syndrome jokes. I gotta throw, bla throw it black. <laughs> I gotta throw it back at you guys because then in instead of some people being mad, everyone can be mad. Ups and downs of romance. Bro, they said the ups and downs of romance. If they can say it, we can say it. Did you hear that? You scrub up well. Exploring the ups and downs of romance. They know. If the date goes wrong, I might cry. And the complexities of Me. relationships. Me, bro. Do you two want to have children? Uh, no. In the search for true oh. love. Oh. You're a wonderful lady, aren't you? Oh. That's me. I don't like her. What? Go off, King. Know your worth. I love her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you're worth love. You are right. That's the point I was making. Down for love. I love that. That's so fun. August 11th. What's the day today? Oh my god, that comes out on the day of the subathon. Oh my god, that comes out the first day of the subathon. So now we know the first two days of the subathon are knocked out. So that's good. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I got it. I'm going to have to show that to Alex. Uh, have you seen down's victoria's secret model can we not call it i think we have done that the the, the victoria wait hold on i'm gonna look this up down syndrome victoria's secret model they're all british which makes it funnier oh we have seen this i think yeah we did look at this last time i feel like this comes up every time yeah she i feel like she might be faking it i don't know <laughs> i don't know we might want to run a couple tests or something because i'm not i'm not fully buying it you know <clears throat> i don't know she she <clears throat> she might just be quirky you know what i mean you guys see what i'm saying though <clears throat> lungs in the ass uh i'm kidding all right let's move on that show though hey real talk though maybe we'll watch that during the double thon 70 emotes work in chat box, but now Frank Free Z emotes aren't showing. I tried to fix, but I have no idea. Man. 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 Hey, guys, it's May Night Time. Okay, see, the hand's already in there. <laughs> oh, jeez. He kind of looks more like Simply than... You guys were saying Mizkif. I, I don't see that as much. Uh, he pulls it out, and there's, like, peanut butter on it, but I guess we'll just leave it there. Uh, what are we talking about? We have gone so off the rails. What? Where are we? Who are we? He's got Maynard strength. 
his palm was turned up. True. Do they have more riz than you? I mean, I think a person with Down syndrome can riz up another person with Down syndrome better than I could. For sure. For sure. So yeah, they got, in terms of that show, they're rizzed out of their goddamn skull. They're abs, I mean, they're, they're, they're killing it. What do you, how, like, think about trying to plan a date like that, right? I have no clue where I would start. What are they like? They're like, easy, arcade, same game, four hours, done. The date's over, I'm in love. Me, I'm over here sitting here, I'm panicking. I'm trying to pick up on everything. Does she like me? Does she not like me? Little taste story is wild. We're gonna talk about it. You're selling yourself short. Thank you, I think. This is a plot for the next IRL stream. We're not, that's guys, come on. Uh, are people with Down syndrome required by law? I'm not gonna finish reading that. In fact, if someone saw that name, can we just, can we time them out? Don't be so down on it. Okay, guys, start, you know what? All the jokes, just start timing them out. I don't even care. How does a subathon work? It doesn't. It's a cash grab. I'm gonna fake heart failure on day three, but it's too late, non-refundable. Um, Basky Chad, thank you for the five, brother. 23 months. Brother, scam of king. That's my boy. I like boobies. All right, so you, uh, nobody even asked, but I'm just gonna give Eight an explanation months. now. Uh, the the match game was supposed Jerry to be today, um, but I made a, I called an audible because, oh, the American Heart Association's in chat still. That's so weird that they're here. Guys, he said, uh, no, he no heart failure. Anymore. Thank you guys, I'm working on it. I'm trying to keep my plaques down. Is Come that on. something you guys say? Right? Hey chat, welcome to stream. Sorry about your dad dying. Now check out this video of a dude <laughs> farting on fruit snacks and then eating them. <laughs> I'll say this right now, I love my dad. And it went, when he passes, you know, God, you know, what's the opposite, opposite of inshallah? You know, out shallah, uh, when my dad passes, you know, in 50 years, I'm gonna be devastated. And the last thing I'm gonna do is pull up any kind of streamer that's like me, bro. Um, because, that's that is that is uh, I can't imagine being like my father is gone. Holy shit. Let's watch this guy like berate people with Down syndrome for 25 minutes. This is gonna make me feel better. Are you gonna play him touching the chicken at his funeral? Man, I'm be honest, that that is gonna I can't no, we're not even talking about this. You're done. Stop. Stop. Although I don't even know. Man, stop, 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 stop. <clears throat> You want to know when I'm retiring? That's when I'm retiring. Stop! Also, he did touch the fucking chicken. And I'll be saying that over his over his casket. I'll be screaming that into his uh, casket as, the, as we drop him down. Maybe I'll be crying, but I will scream it at him. All right, so the match game that we we're going to do today, we decided to move it to next week. So we were... Monday, we got on a work call, and we're planning out this uh, dubathon. With, with a lot of content, like days worth of content and all this like stupid little things. Like it's not gonna be jam packed, but we wanted to have something every day at least, right? What like one thing a day and then like little things throughout the day, obviously like games here, shows here, yada yada, but at least one thing. So then I was like, what we could do for a day is we could do the match game, um, do like the day of match game, but instead of doing it today where we do all the work, we show you the stream and then we do all the work, right? If we do it during the subathon, you guys get to see the setup, the the, yes, the workflow. Yes, that's great and all, Wubby. But just remember, I have your whole house on my wrist. <laughs> oh, we're gonna talk about that. You guys get to see the setup. You get to see then the match game stream, and then you get to see like the breakdown. What happens? Like I thought that was so fascinating. Not to mention, while we're trying to scramble to set this up, it's like, and we get another week to work on it. So that works for me. Uh, and booty. But What's the only like, test a person with Down syndrome does well on? DNA test? I'm, I muted it. Okay. So I'm like, that's free content. And frankly, the subathon is a great excuse to show you content that normally it's like, this is kind of like, this is slow. It was, fuck it. We have 24 hours a day to fill, right? So sure, I have a single two hour stream that I can turn into like six hours of a stream. Just that's awesome. We're excited for that. Anyway. Um, what are you gonna- are you going to do the worm during the subathon? You know, yes. Cod Zombies? Yes. Magic Mondays? Yes. Nugget Lee? Yes. Um, sleep stream? So the- here's what we're- I think what we're gonna do, because I didn't- I didn't- so first off, I didn't want to do the subathon at all. 
Alex has convinced me to do the subathon in exchange for doing a dubathon. That allows either one of us to take over the stream. We're going to be live, like on my channel and on hers. It's the same feed. I guess I can exp I probably should explain how this works because it's my last day to explain um, before we do it. So here's how the dubathon works. Alex is live. I'm live. It's the same feed. It's not different cameras. It's the same stream. So just pretend this right now is also on Alex's channel. So how does it work? One or both of us will be on stream at for, for the, the content, right? One or both of us. That doesn't mean we're both always there. There will be times where maybe Alex is doing something. Maybe Alex is gone. Maybe Alex, whatever. She will be off and I'll be, I'm playing zombies with you guys for the next few hours. Or uh, maybe Alex is going to take over and do some Pokemon. I don't know her. Like, I know she was talking about in the morning, she'll do her makeup for the first couple hours. Cool. Early morning. I don't have to be on stream then. I can chill. I can decompress, whatever. I didn't want to do, I was not willing to do a subathon uh, where I'm in front of my camera 24 seven. I couldn't do it. This was my compromise. So uh, Cox, well, we'll see how Cox deals with it. Um, will you do her makeup? No. Make it for a couple hours. Fuck being a lady. Bro, you, dude, wake, from, from wake up to ready to get out of the door, have you ever lived with a woman? Wake up to fully ready out the door. If they have the time, they'll fill up, as, they'll fill up hours. Now, I've seen the ladies cook it and get out in five when they need to. We got a flight to catch, right? But if you give them any amount of time, they will take it. And God bless them. They look great. They, but they, you, no matter what the, t anytime it's like, how long are you going to take us? The smartest ladies go, how much, how long do I have? I go, uh, 10 minutes. What do you want from me? Anyway, <clears throat> any IRL streams? Yes, we, we have IRL streams planned. So with the dubathon, that means that, um, it takes less stress off of both of us, but also gives more, uh, varied content. So another thing I didn't want to do for a subathon that I was like, I'm not doing this. <clears throat> I didn't want to do sleep streams. Because when I do sleep streams, um, I don't sleep. I get the worst sleep of my life. So we compromised. Alex is going to be sleeping on the camera, the, the, the bed camera, which I thought was great. You know, that's awesome. But <clears throat> we're going to have a sub goal for me to uh, try it. Give, it. give it a night of you guys getting to torture me. But the problem, the, the straight up, she's sleeping with chat. Let her. Let her. Letter. Is there a time limit or cap? Yes, but we don't know yet because we don't know. Listen, we were, I was talking to Alex. We we're planning days and days and days, right? And then we had this moment of like, the, the subathon could end after like an hour. And she's like, yeah, it can. And I'm like, that kind of work out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but it probably won't. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, I believe she said a week cap on her stream. We tossed the week cap out. Uh, if she's hard putting the week cap, I'm not going to say, no, it's got to be more than that. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, Alex is going to be sleeping on stream. We're going to have a sub goal to have me sleep on stream uh, at least once to see. Oh, 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 we're back. Okay, that's a hiccup. They get passes on hiccups. They get passes on, they get, no, chill. They get passes on hiccups, chill. They get passes on hiccups. Note the time. Yeah, peak hours between 5.30 and 7.30. <sighs> no, they don't. Well, I don't pay for business internet now, so they kind of technically do. Bitrate is shit. It's coming back. All right. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing everything. It's going to be fun, and uh, it's going to be slow at times. How many? How horny are you going to get on the sub -hub? See, that's the thing. I'm not going to get, oh, 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 that's the thing. I'm not going to be horny on the subathon because it's a dubathon. We, we're, we're sharing the load, right? So if I need to go you know, rub one out. If I need to go take care of, take care of business, right? Alex just takes over the stream and I can go into a dark bathroom and come into a trash can anytime I want. I could go, like, I could go take a nap <clears throat> and Alex can do stuff, you know? It's, 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 uh, it's like the pancake batter stream. Kinda. I, I don't have, I, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Um, so that's this Friday. Didn't Lud nut in his sleep 
Yeah, see, I'm not into that. I'm not into that. I, I'll tell you guys right now, if I did a subathon where I slept in front of you guys every night and never had a moment to myself, I would probably um, uh, nocturnally emit, which, by the way, we got to rework that. That's such a strange wording of, of coming in your sleep. I'm nocturnally emitting. I, it sounds like something a spider does, doesn't it? Or like a, some kind of insect. Hey, sweetie, I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm going to uh, nocturnally emit now. What are you, are you, are you, are you transforming? Are you going to come out as a cocoon? Do you guys like this? I'm workshopping some of my stand up. Do you guys like it? Let me know if you guys, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. I'm just, I'm work. I'm trying to bounce some things off you. I got a show next week. <laughs> so what do you do? He got lungs in his ass. You see, is the dubathon pre-recorded? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, don't quit your day job. All right. Live stand up on a stage in a comedy club for the dubathon. No. So, all right, now let's move on to my next thing I want to talk about real quick, very quick. I'm going to keep it very quick. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's a little game that came out recently that I'm, I'm not going to be playing on stream, so this is probably going to be the last time I get to really talk about it. You may not have heard of it. It's kind of Indie. Am I saying that correctly? Indie? Indie? Uh, hold on. Here Your man, go. hit me up when you play Call of Duty, Cold War Zombies, because I've done all <laughs> Easter eggs solo. <laughs> Cold plus War Zombies? zombies? Hey, Grandpa, the geriatric home called. They want their dipshit asshole back. Cold War Zombies. Hey, you ever heard of BO3, dude? You know, the game where the zombies custom community is alive and well. Hey, don't, hey, don't let the door hit your old ass flaps on the way out, Cold War Andy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Freddy Fazbear. <clears throat> What was he saying? We were talking about something important just now. I feel like I, I turn into... Oh, 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 I know, I know. So anyway, uh, lasagna. I just read chat. I don't know why. Um, there's this cute little indie game you guys may have heard of. Maybe not. I don't know. It's new. It's called Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, this game was not on my radar. In fact, I did not care about it at all i knew what baldur's gate was in terms of like if somebody gunned my head what's baldur's gate i'm like i think it's a game <clears throat> but i know nothing about it right it comes out i'm seeing all our all you know soda pop and crawls out of his hole gets his viewership and plays and i'm watching him and i'm like eh, this is gonna be a flash in the pan like we get it you did it with diablo we get it you did it with that game we get it <clears throat> i'm not interested i'm just not like give it a week right so I let all my friends buy it. They're all playing it. They sit down and they're like, all right, Wubby, here's the take. Give it a try. Give it a try. So I download it. He's playing right now. <laughs> Dude, I... Man, I wish I was funny. <sighs> um, I downloaded it. Okay, uh, retard, I'll whoop you ass in Black Ops 2 or 3 zombies, <laughs> my boy. I grew up on that shit. <laughs> Fair enough. You're probably better at it. Because I don't play it, old man! All right. Wait, no, you said Black Ops 3 Zombies. Oh, wait, dude, I could totally out, I could out, uh, round, like, what, what is it called? I could get to a higher round than you, you idiot, I guarantee. I, do I play zombies literally, like, I have not stopped playing Black Ops 3 Zombies once a week for, like, 10 years. I want you to think about that for a second. Seriously, not 10 years, whenever it came out. I want you to think about that. Somebody just said Dark and Dark is better. Um, that is so pathetically untrue, and you know what? Here's my money back guarantee. We're going to be talking about Baldur's Gate in five years. We're going to be going, what happened to Dark and Darker in five years? Boom! Wrong! Anyway, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, here's what I'm going to say. Damn Wubby L. That's fine. Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, uh, I, I finally, I'm like, you know what? My friend said, okay, give it a try. I said, fuck it. I'm going to give it a try. And uh, the craziest thing happened to me. Okay, I started on uh, Monday night. Monday night. I, I, I booted it up. And I... And, and this, I, I should be getting a Nobel Prize for this. this. Is not a lie. I believe that I have an in I have invented time travel, because then out of nowhere, I did a little head shake. I got up from my desk. It was Wednesday morning, and I had to prepare for stream. And I went, "Excuse me." What I throughout the day, I would glance at the clock, and I'd be like. It's fucking 3 a.m. I sat down at noon. What happened? You're on coke, Wubby. No, no drugs. 
Baldur's Gate 3, I'm just going to say, it is that, it's that guy. Hey, chat, I know you're on the fence, some of you, okay? I personally find it pretty boring to watch. I won't be playing it. It is an, a grueling game to watch played, and frankly, I, I, I don't think... I, I don't think most of you would enjoy watching it. And more importantly, I'd want you to go play it instead of watching me play it. But Baldur's Gate 3, I, I put 20 hours in already in a day and a half. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it's that guy, pal. It's that guy. It's I'm and, and the crazy thing is I didn't mean to. I didn't even mean I'm playing right, guys. I'm playing right. Hold on one second. I'm gonna t I got to take a long rest. Give me one second. Hold on. I, 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 I just, okay, let me just give you a quick overview of why it's that guy. First off, D&D &D in real life is fun. There are things about D&D &D in real life, though, that I think keep it from getting to the table more than other things. One, the party, right? Getting everyone together is probably the biggest hurdle. But for me, that's not even my biggest hurdle with D&D. &D. There is just times in D&D &D where it can be kind of cumbersome, kind of boring, kind of drawn out, especially if you're in a party of four or larger, it can just be kind of like, ah, I'm rolling this, it's this, it's da, da, da. Okay. And, and not to mention, right, you have to have a good imagination, a good storyteller to make it work, right? Those are my issues with it. And I still love D&D, &D, but those are real issues with it. You got to be real. In my opinion, Baldur's Gate 3 takes everything that I personally have issues with with D&D &D and just, and just, and obliterates those issues all the, the it takes the the simple all the all the like perception check roll for oh you're gonna slip on all those rolls are out of the way it makes you do the important rolls that are actually fun to roll it takes it ju i just i just it's so good baldur's it's just so it in my opinion i can't believe i'm saying this in my opinion if you're new to D, &D i would say Go play Baldur's Gate before you sit down and play tabletop d d It's just, it's that guy. It's that fucking guy. And as someone who likes d d who likes the fantasy, who like also, who likes Magic the Gathering, this is the best thing that's happened to this universe, to Wizards of the Coast in a very long time. It's, it's that guy. It's that guy. No acting allowed makes D and D funner, huh? Huh? That's the thing. I'm not the most theatrical at the table, and it can be hard for me. Like I know some of you are D and D experts, and you're you're killing it, and your DM is killing it, and everybody shows up on time. We get it, right? I'd say ninety percent of people struggle with that. Ninety percent of people struggle with that, right? Uh, it's hard. It's hard to get a group together. It's hard to get a DM who's talented, who you want in your home or comfortable with. It's hard to role play so publicly if you're not a theatrical person by nature. It's hard, right? Baldur's Gate is that guy! Baldur's Gate is that guy! I'm sorry, it just is! And I played with- I- I have played D&D &D with a DM who- that I find spectacular. I'm having more fun with Baldur's Gate. I just am. It's that guy. It's that guy for me. I love it. It it and I'm not even talking about the game yet, dude. I'm just talking about how it translates D and D to a video game. Not to mention the choices you have. The the kid the NPCs, bro. I peaked so hard just now. I am talking to these NPCs and they're so complex and complicated and interesting and like they're so like they're just like the, the, uh, I'm talking to them and I'm like oh I'm leading towards the sex scene the sex scene is coming I know what's coming I'm about to have sex with this NPC and we didn't have sex and I was like oh and then we're talking the next day and it's kind of awkward and I'm like oh my god this is like not like speed run to the sex scene. I'm like, I'm having like converse. Like, I'm like, this is, and I even, I said, hey, things are getting kind of weird. Never mind. And she's like, oh, like, was it the wine? And I'm like, I'm just not, I'm like, this is, I could, I would, I'm just like, I just couldn't believe it. I was so, yeah, I gave shout out heart blue balls. I did, I did. I kissed her, we got wine drunk. And then I, I was like, listen, I think we should be more professional on this quest, like my fault. And she, and, and I was sitting there, I'm like, I've never turned down a character for sex in a game. And I kind of, I was like, I kind of felt bad. And now we're like questing together. And when I make her heal me, I'm like, 
I hope she doesn't resent me. <laughs> and I've never had these thoughts in a video game before, dude. Never. And that, those moments like that are making me go, this is different. This is different. Bro, I'm sitting here and I'm doing things, right? Things that I believe to have no meaning. And then 10 minutes later, a massive thing opens up because of my stupidity. And I'm like, so what if I didn't do that? And I know there's probably an answer for it, but D I'm going to quote my friend DJ here. But not knowing is the appeal. Mm. Mwah. It's good, guys. It's that guy. What's your race? I My character is fucking stupid looking. Okay. I look like a Giga Chad. I'm like an eight foot tall elf and I'm a wizard. And let me tell you, motherfucker. I mean, I am not afraid to just level. I'm, I'm, I'm only, I think I'm level four. <clears throat> I'm Why not. Are so many DMs so sketchy. My first DM ever, my ex brother in law, got arrested for modding a child poke kick group. Mm. I'm sorry, what? They also made Divinity 2. I've never played that. Or Divinity Original. Or, or, Divinity Original Sin 2. I've never played it, but I heard about it. What subclass did I pick? Uh, built different. I don't actually remember. Shadow Wizard Money. Dude, Wizard is so fun. I got my cleric next to me. I got my little gay vampire rogue too. And then we got a druid. I mean, it's just got, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm recommending it. I don't do, uh, you, okay. This doesn't happen often, but actually I think maybe it's happening more often than not now. It, once a year, maybe a game will put me in my seat and go, whoa, this is what video gaming is. This could change, but right now I'm sitting here and I'm like, the last time I had this feeling was Elden Ring. And then a little bit with God of War, maybe on the story, but not so much the gameplay, but Elden Ring for sure, right? Red Dead Redemption 2, perfect, right? This is this one right now. Baldur's Gate 3 is there, is there for me. It's, it's that guy for me. So give it a try. Witcher 3, can I give a hot take on the Witcher? Can I, can I, can I, can I cause some damage in the community real quick? Can I cause some serious? Can I cause some serious mental damage? Don't say it. I'm gonna say it, guys. I'm gonna say it, and I'm not afraid anymore. I am afraid. I'm gonna really softball this. I'm gonna underhanded pitch. Okay, just swing, chat. Just swing. Um. All right. Say it. Oh, also, some advice for people who are playing Baldur's Gate. I think it benefits from playing with one other person. I think it does not benefit from playing with a full party of people. That's just my opinion. You're welcome to do what you want. If you have a good party that you really, really love, but it's kind of hard to keep track of four people. If you're playing with one other single or one other person is in my opinion, the way to play Baldur's Gate. Hard, that's Carlos told me that and I've been doing that and it hard agree. Say the quiet part loud. I got you, bro. I got you. Okay, hold on. Here's my opinion on Witcher. You guys ready? So let me first start out by saying I have played the Witcher 3 to completion. I completed on my monitor because there are too many honeys who's that one witch early game who's just her nipples like they're just out when she's wearing normal clothes okay anyway i played witcher 3 in its entirety to completion and the first time i played it was years ago i was blown away i was blown away i couldn't believe it incredible like the witcher has some decisions that really fuck you up okay love it i started playing the witcher 3 a replay Oh, Tris. Oh. I started playing The Witcher 3 uh, like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Because I'm like, ooh, I love The Witcher. I'm about to get back into it. <sighs> and, and I fell off really hard. I stopped playing. And I got to be honest. Should I play the game if I don't play D&D? Yes, but you should watch a video to help you explain some of the concepts in it. Um, I got to be honest, guys. The Witcher 3 and Peanut is right now fist pumping. The Witcher 3... I don't even think I could recommend it in 2023. It is, it is, <sighs> the, the controls and the combat and the, even just the horseback riding and the, the way damage and hits and everything, it's just, it's not good. It's not good. It doesn't hold up, man. And you know what's crazy? If I was in my chat right now, two weeks ago, I would be spamming L take. I would. Two weeks ago, I would have been like, Wubby, you are dead wrong. But I just replayed it, and I'm like, man, this is 
it's like this is clunky and slow and i gotta be real too the first few hours of the game are just boring as fuck dude like god damn like like i mean mind-numbingly boring like i do not care ah <sighs> anyway uh you can get like witcher 3 for a buck now oh okay hold on wait you can get witcher 3 for a dollar yeah okay hold on chat absolutely it's worth a dollar no one's gonna deny that and if you've never played it it's still probably something you should experience but i guess let me be more clear about what i'm saying if i said to you if i met you at a meetup and you said wubby recommend a good game and i said witcher 3 and you played it and he came back to me and you said wubby i played it but i dropped it because it's just too clunky i would say yeah fair <laughs> i would say fair dude that's fair it is it kind of is at this point witcher 3 or god of war 2018 I need to replay God of War 2018. You have to install mods, but that's that's a problem though, bro. I got it for five dollars and it was amazing first playthrough. I agree. I agree. Are you gonna play Starfield? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Explain clunky. Everything every time I'm in control of my character, I get frustrated in The Witcher. Whether it's riding the horse and the horse just isn't doing what I want him to do. or he, Let's like, hold this button to have him follow the path, except he just doesn't half the time. Okay, well, at least the combat's fun, but it's not. It's not satisfying. The combat doesn't make me feel satisfied. Everything just, it's just, it just, it, it just doesn't feel good. The controls don't feel intuitive. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just... Yeah, it's hard to describe, but I didn't feel this way until I played it again like a couple weeks ago and it was not. And you're saying skill issue. I've beaten the entire game and loved it. So it's not a skill issue. It's just, I don't know. I just, it kind of made me want to play a game, a better game when I was playing it. <laughs> have you seen the bugbear have sex with the other? Stop! Will you be playing Targo Vibe? No, maybe. Elder Ring ruined the Witcher games for me. The DLC is immaculate, though. I don't think the game isn't immaculate as on its own. It's just, listen, man, it's 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 a tough sell in 2023 for me. <laughs> Thoughts on Harry Potter game? I had fun with it while I played it. Why did I stop playing it? I don't know, but that should say something. All right. Um, that's that then. Witcher walked so Elden Ring could run. Yeah. You know what? I, here's the thing, right? Witcher 4. Give me a Witcher 4. Give me like next gen. Controls have come a long way is what I'm saying. I'll even another hot take, boys. Red Dead Redemption 2 suffers a little bit from this as well. Not fully. I still think Red Dead Redemption 2 holds up better. But it does suffer a little bit from what I'm talking about. I'm just saying. It's just we Red Dead Redemption 2 came out 13 years ago, guys. We we need like controls have come a long way since then a long way and if you don't believe me boot up witcher right now it's just a little like uh roach uh come here roach uh good boy roach uh oh uh, let me eat this apple <laughs> what am i even saying that's not even that's not even uh, that's not even a good argument at all like five years wait what or do wait did i say red emerson two did i mean the first one or did I, wait what did i something came out 13 years ago what came out 13 years ago something did You said 13 years. Something came out 13 years ago. Okay, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out 13 years. No, it didn't. Was it GTA? Skyrim? The fuck was I talking about then? <laughs> Whatever. You're fucking... You're... <laughs> a lot of things did. Name one. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 1 did? Ah, uh, okay. Already, okay, that maybe that's what I was thinking of. All right, whatever. Let's move on. Anyway, that was my opinion on Witcher. I don't know why I shared that. Anyway, Baldur's Gate, guys. It's that guy. Could it change? Sure. I could grow to hate the game. But right now, it's that guy. It's that guy. And I've already gotten my money's worth with it. All right. Let's talk about incest. <laughs> let's talk about incest. Um, let's let... <laughs> let's talk about incest. First, let's just... Let's... 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 Uh, 
<laughs> Finally! Right, chat? You've been waiting. I know you've been sitting there at your desk going, is he going to talk about it? Yeah, I know. Um, hold on. I gotta. I want to play something just to get us in the mood. A little song. Now you got my attention. That's right, brother. That's right. All right, here we go. Uh, is this it? Here we go. Now I want you to close your eyes and just listen to this for a second, okay? Because I'm an island boy. What and if I told to you oh, I'm in just a couple boy. years, these two identical twin brothers would be making an OnlyFans where they are sucking each other's dicks. I, I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. Ooh. I'm a get key white gun. You're going to keep that gun. Oh. I'm Who had that on their sign. bingo I'm sheet? Gazing. I'm like, well, pull where I'm staying. They're like, you want to be famous. I'm trying to be out the oh. grave. Will you be doing I'm Maynard time during the Sabbath? I got I you, get bro. A real damn topic. I'm like, the damn, I'm the topic. Uh -huh. I'm a I Man. Please say you're bullshitting. Well, um, it's kind of hard to talk about this uh, without showing you things. So first, Charlie put out a video, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna touch on this a little bit, and then I'm gonna show you guys some. Actually, I'm gonna see if you guys even want to see it. We'll go from I'm there. I'm about to drop a name on you like an anvil out of a Saturday morning cartoon. It's a name that you probably haven't heard in quite some time, like Huba Stank. No disrespect to Huba Stank. They they had some bangers back in their day. But this is a name that you're gonna have to dust off the cobwebs for to try and remember. Make sure who you react are. hard enough. Well, I actually I called up Charles already on the phone, and Charles said I can react to this video. In fact, he said I don't have to say a word. Is what? See, I call him Charles because we're not, we're, we're mutuals. Um, so me and me and me and Charles uh, had a conversation. He said I could do it, and um, if he denies that, I'm going to dig deep into his closet for skeletons. So uh, maybe just let this one slide, okay? Sure. The Island Boys. Back in late 2021, they went viral for this song, I'm an Island Boy, that one. They became the punching bag of the internet, the biggest clowns that were not afraid to just keep dancing for everyone to laugh at, throw tomatoes at, and shoot spitballs at. They were the biggest Ryan, joke the whole thing. online I'm just land for real quick. quite a while. And everyone already knew that their time in the limelight was limited, but I don't think anyone knew exactly how long it would last, or rather, how short it would be. Because just like Hans Gruber at the end of Die Hard, they fell off, and in a big way. And to clout goblins, that is a fate worse than death. Because that attention is the most addictive drug in the world, and the Island Boys are some very strong addicts. They need attention more than they need air. They need attention more than their body needs water. It's like the most crucial Spit nutrient up, in their Charles! diet. So when they stopped getting They're that attention, they dicks. lost their goddamn Spit mind. They out. were fucking wild. They tried everything to get back in the public eye. They tried YouTuber boxing. They tried starting drama with <laughs> other internet creators. Mans does have a boogie. Mans does have a boogie on his mustache right there. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to speak right now from someone who's made YouTube videos with a boogie. It is detrimental. I remember, I had like dust on my shirt and people didn't let that shit go. I, I have had to uh, re-record entire fucking videos because there was shit in my teeth. I have, I don't even know, I'm trying to think if this even made it. I remember one time trying to edit around something that was in my teeth. Because I was so I embarrassed. I was like, oh, I smile here. I have to cut it off sooner. He addresses it. They tried everything. They even did military recruitment for a little while, which was a wild arc in the Island Boy saga. And none of it was enough to get people to talk about. Or Man, laugh. that is so frustrating. That you, God damn, dude. I feel this, though. Again. Man, what the fuck? So I just noticed that for the entire yes! opening of this video, I had a booger stuck in my mustache actually just saved, hanging though. on for dear life Bro, there. Bro, actually saved, though. I'm not going to redo any of this, so I'm just going to let it ride. I'm going to call spade a spader. That's a that is kind of psychopathic behavior. I would re-record that so I would you cannot listen. I'm not human. You do not let me see you do not the world cannot see me with a booger on my mustache. That's nuts. That is nuts, dude. And that means the majority of people who watch this video who click out after a minute are like, "Man, he just had a booger on his nose. It's so gross." But I'm very disappointed that none of you stopped me to tell me about it. Letting me Charles! just go on. Charles! I've been screaming at you! Continue making myself look like a fool. A greasy <laughs> loser with boogers in his beard. Yucky. But anyway, 
The Island Boys, they fell from grace just as quickly as they rose to popularity. Your boy Charles is using wired them. earbuds? What's yeah. up with that? I don't know. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, 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 uh. I picture all you guys walking around fucking Target with your wired buds on. Right? Wrong. Because in the Island Boys' desperation... At the deepest pits of the Shadow Realm to which they were banished to, they hatched one last nefarious idea in order to get people to talk about them again. Incest. I'm not exaggerating and I'm not lying either. The Island Boys are back in the public eye because no. they are making out with each other and just today announced that they're releasing an oral sex video with one of the brothers sucking the other brother's cock. It which brother do you... Th how does that conversation start? How do how do what like like, you know where, how do you how do you um, start that conversation? Like flip a coin. No, you should be the one sucking my cock. Well, it's our cock. No conversation needed. Well, we could leave, let me hear what he says next, but we'll leave it here. If you at didn't this point. know, the Island Boys are actually brothers. Twins. It's not like some kind of you know stepmom porn genre thing, like fake incest thing. They they are legitimately brothers. And their plan has been for the last like week or so, maybe a so, bit longer. They just I knew they were doing the the kissing stuff on TikTok or on on Twitter. Um, I'm sorry, on OnlyFans. It was all over Twitter though, and I didn't really like. I was like, I probably won't bring it up. But the sucking your dick, sucking your brother's dick thing is wild. Uh, and I know that. Um, let's hold on. We just want to hear this guy's opinion. Let me see what he thinks real quick consensually and they agree to use the proper protection not conceive a child what what reason can you give me that that's wrong you, you like you, besides just saying it's icky or weird yeah God, he's so real for that well because he said it i'll 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 lean in uh he's so right now okay I have now here's the question for chat and and maybe anyone who knows cuz i i guys i can't get banned on twitch okay I can't not now because I'm I'm gonna have I have the subathon coming up. I don't want to. It'd be very annoying. But I have the videos in front of me. Island boys, is it? Oh, it's on the subreddit. Now that ain't okay, bro. That is not okay, bro. Um, I have the video of them kissing, and I'm. Okay. Wubby, oh. if someone were to get a short cylinder with a dent like a vein and one side ends in a mushroom-shaped top in a Chinese finger <sighs> trap and it has been stuck there for 30 minutes and is turning blue, what should they do? <laughs> Y'all hear the sound? I mean, listen, like, okay. You can see the pain in his eyes. I, dude, like, I have a brother and, and I, okay, I feel like they're doing this. He's trying for to get that bag, Stushi. Money on the table. I'm gonna kill myself. That's crazy. I, I, I believe that uh, there's two things they're going after here. The clout, they want to stay in the public light, and money. I personally think, with no evidence, that these guys uh, are desperately, desperately trying to hold on to the lifestyle they've been flaunting, right? And they probably owe money, and they probably don't have much money. So they're probably like, what can get us money? Well, the incest play started making the money, so then they started, you know tossing around and then they started kissing and it made them more money and now they're like how can we make the most money possible straight up incest porn with my brother now that's not normal because i'm you could offer me right now 10 million dollars to suck my brother's dick and i would say it's got to be 12 maybe 13 no i can't i legitimately cannot even imagine a dollar amount a few hundred million i couldn't imagine a dollar amount to make that worth it. I don't think there is a dollar amount to make that worth it. And I know they're not making the amount that would be even ballpark, right? Like enough money it's to not real. It's a hot hundred dog. It's billion dollars, 10 billion. I don't think I would Chad. That's the, I don't think I would for even 10 billion. And at that point, money's not even an object anymore. So who care? I don't think I have a number. I don't think I have a number. And the, the point I'm making is even if I did, it's not what they're making from their OnlyFans. But with that being said, um, do you want to see the video of them kissing? Because <laughs> it is fucking insane, dude. 
It is fucking insane. No? Okay, I'll show you. All right. You don't want to see it? All right, I'll show you. All right. So, you don't want to see it? All right, here it is. Here it is. I got you guys. No, you don't? All right, here it is. Here it is. All right. Um, no? All right, I got you. I got you. Here it is. Um, so, this is them. This is... Oh, God, no. All right, here it is. Can we show it? <laughs> so, one of them... I think I don't know which one because they're twins. One of them came out as gay on, like, a live stream. Um, but, like, man... And like people are like some some idiots. Twitter, they got reasonable. Thank you, thank you. Wait, pinned by Alex? Oh, oh, that was TT said that pinned by Alex. Hey man, I, TT, I want you to hear me right now when I say this. I want you to hear me when I say this. I'm glad they got nice cocks. Okay, these are two brothers sucking each other's. No, TT, I want you to hear this. These are two brothers sucking each other's dicks. TT, TT. These are two brothers sucking each other's dicks. Oh, God, no, Wubby. Can we please just go back to Maynard time instead? No, no. we got to watch this. What do you mean? Take it down, Cox? No, no, no. So is it considered masturbation? What the fuck? What the fuck? All right. Um, oh, he's going in. I don't know if I can show it. I don't know if I can. Alex, wait. You're Okay, because you're here, I can ask you. Hold on. Hold on, Alex. I'm gonna call you consensually, and they agree with you. the proper protection. Not ignore this. I'm just I'm watching my favorite stream in the background. Just ignore this. a child. Hold what? On. What reason can you give me that that's wrong? Hello. Hello. You, you, like you, What's that? besides uh, just saying it's that icky, impulsive well, fight is way funnier now. Weird. Yeah, you guys will just say it's icky. Um, it's um, incest. Yeah, but but can what you hear is me? bad about it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can I show this video? I'm gonna link it to you. Okay. Like, you mean TOS-wise? If they're just kissing, kissing's not TOS, right? Hold on. Hold on. You almost said something else. Are kissing's what? What? It's not fine? TOS? Hey, Wubby. It's not it's your TOS, your long-lost right? twin brother, Yubby. Elon Musk just oh, got back to me, to, and he so said, yes, he'll pay. I have to sit here and pay. watch this just by myself? See you soon, room. lover. Okay. Go ahead. Watch it by uh, yourself. Uh, uh, watch the second all, one. Watch the second uh, one. <laughs> Why did... Why do they kiss like that? I don't like this. Now, okay, 100% play it because I just had to watch that. So oh, now so everyone you're, else you're does. You're, so if I get banned for a week, you're not going to be mad then, right? If you get banned for a week from that, that's crazy. I will be... Uh... You know what? Yeah, that's fine. I said yeah, so I don't care. Deal. All right. Hey, thank you, Alex. Enjoy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, well, you heard her. It's just, is kissing really incest? That's a, you know what? That is, I actually have a, I actually have a, um, a clip about that. Assuming they can't have children <laughs> and assuming there was no I power. Hold on. Let me, let me just have this play in the background while we watch this video. Cause that's too funny to me. Okay, here we go. Um, consensually. And they agree to use the proper protection, not conceive a child. What? What reason can you give me that that's wrong? You, you, like, you, besides just saying it's icky or weird. Yeah, you guys will just say it's icky. It's incest. Yeah, but, but what is bad about it? Assuming they can't have children. <sighs> oh my God, stand up. I can't. I'll take the desk with me, brother. I cannot. Oh God, I'm panicking. Everybody call your therapist! Call your therapist! Put eye bleach up. Oh my God, you're right. Okay, I'll put, I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm putting eye bleach up. I'm putting, oh God, I can't back to it again! Oh my God! <sighs> Fuck, I'm sorry, it's just on every monitor. I can't, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Hey son, I just wanted to let you should wipe your nose also. Uh, I always like it when I eat myself out of breath. That's a good boost. To my what day, you know, I'm eating fuck? and I go, oh, um, it's better a few well, moments please, later. I'm, done with it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it. I'm like, sorry. Why did I just stop to take a deep breath? Oh, Shut yeah. up. You like it, don't you, Abby? Um, See, here's, I'll be honest, right? Big, big fan of incest porn. Big fan, right? But, uh, you know, experiencing and, and witnessing the real thing, it all gets really real, you know? 
You know what I mean? It all comes to a screeching halt. And, and I have no problem with, uh, with porn, with, with porn and acting and all that. But I had this moment now that I haven't experienced when watching incest porn where my stomach has turned upside down and I legitimately feel nauseous. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, this is, uh, this is too real. And it's like, uh, the neck was the worst. It really, it actually makes me kind of sick. Uh, sub value. Thank you. Wait, why are you saying sub value? What do you mean sub value? Because I showed that dude. Stop the clip. You guys have a clip of it. Y'all are what reason can you give me? <laughs> oh, that's me. And that I had him playing in the background. Okay. I'm just going to move on. Um, really? I felt nothing. That's okay. You don't have to feel anything. It's a healthy response to incest. Yeah, I'm just. And then boy, I put my vest on, yeah, like a wagwam. I don't know how. Man, they really lost. They lost sight, didn't they? Had like, how are you this like cool guy rapper persona, and you're like, bro, in three years I'm gonna be sucking the fuck out of my brother's dick. You guys have no clue. You have no clue, dude. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be slobbing on my brother's fucking cock in a couple of years. You have no idea. Cool guy? No, you're not. I'm not saying they're cool. I'm saying they thought they were, right? You know they thought they were. They, they got the whole thing. They're trying to be like these island rappers. Oh, I got the grill. I got the. Have you seen him trying to. Have you seen. Okay, this just. Have you seen the TikTok of him trying to start a motorcycle? Bro, these guys are so. They are. And you know what? They, they're making stupid. They're making. Okay, this is going to sound confusing, but I'm going to try to explain this properly. They are making idiots dislike gay people. Let me explain what I mean. I've seen some like anti gay talk around them, and I'm like, these motherfuckers aren't gay. Maybe he is gay, but this is not gay. This is incest, motherfucker. What do you like? That's what so makes you think they just now starting to slob on each other's? That's knobs. so true, what actually, bro. That's so true. I've been like people who are hating Son, on them on I know Twitter. This is haram, but if you and your brother do this, okay, I won't wait. stand in your way. Let me be careful. I'm sorry. It, it is. Hold fingers, on. on. So. I, I knew. I knew I would say something that someone would. Let me be more clear. It is gay incest, but to criticize them for the gay is very misguided right and i'm seeing a lot of people who are like shitting on him for being gay and it's like my brother my brother this man is gay okay this man is sucking his brother's dick that's not a gay man's thing to do that is a that is a like legitimate something is wrong with your brain thing to do you know what i mean and i'm seeing i'm seeing people on twitter I think it's some of their former fans, which is kind of speaks to the type of person. They're equally as concerned that they're having incest that they are that one of them is gay. <laughs> and it's like, huh, huh, huh. Uh, the only incest I allow in my house is with my sister or nothing. What if they were twin sisters? Okay, whoa, hey, whoa, what if they're, hey, whoa, what if they're twin sisters? I'd say you got a link. You know? <laughs> no, I'll be honest, actually. Um, while my ape brain, you know, <laughs> listen, I never, don't come to me for moral authority, all right? I uh, Listen, all right? Hey, if they're sisters, maybe we let, maybe we rethink society. Maybe, maybe I pull up that Twitter clip again. Okay, you know, he's so real for that. Hey, listen, all right. Maybe if they're sisters, we sit down and we start talking as people. Okay, maybe we listen to each other for once. Maybe we drop all these old ass beliefs and we have a conversation. <laughs> Double standard. Stop it, bro. I'm going to show you a secret right here. Okay, I'm going to show you a secret. Okay to beating the double standards argument. You ready? I do not care. I am so morally inconsistent. You should not be basing any of your decisions off of things this idiot on the internet is telling you. Look at who you're taking any sort of moral conversation from, bro. I just showed you two brothers kissing because it made me laugh and I knew it would make you uncomfortable. What the fuck? Dude, I'm so inconsistent. Bro, oh my God. Yeah. If they were two chicks, I probably wouldn't even have talked about the story. I would have just hit the little star on my search bar, okay? All right? 
Okay, consistent these dicks, bro. I don't get what are you talking about? Ice cream is good. Shut up. Should we sh steal the shark? Yes. No, but in all honesty, if it was, here's what I would say if it was two sisters, like real talk, I'm, I'm dumb joking now. If it was two sisters making out, I'd be like, yo, that is weird. That is creepy. Those are the two sisters making out is gross. That's what I would say out loud. And then I check back in on it after stream. What do you want from me? I'm, I'm a he What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you fucking want from me? All right. What do you, you want me to lie to you? Okay. Same. No, I mean, listen, I, I actually don't know. I, I'm still making jokes because I can't stop myself. I actually don't know how I would react because my, my brain sees two girls making out and it's like my brain goes, that's hot. That's what my brain does, right? So I'm picturing two chicks in my head making out and I'm going, well, that's hot. I think if I knew they were identical twins, I actually do think my brain would probably override that because, and I'm saying that I'm being, I'm actually speaking to you right now as Dennis. I, I legitimately think that if I saw a twin twin sisters making out, I would, my, the hot side of my brain would be overridden by, oh, those are twins. That's kind of, it's kind of odd. Bro, stand up. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, I'll stand up. Well, let's research it. Hmm. The post nut clarity would hit hard. You know what? That's actually, that's probably the fairest way to put it. Amaranth had a twin licking stream on Twitch, which was fine. Now say it as Denise, please. <laughs> but a man having sex with his twin sister at the same time is okay. Huh? Are you talking about like role play? Bro, I'm, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm, I'm talking about... Be what? honest, you are using the media share background because you don't want to catch heat from gamer subs. Wait, what? Gamer subs, use code Wubby. Incest is hot when roleplay. Gamer subs, use code Wubby. Roleplay incest is very hot. I love incest pornography. Use gamer subs, code Wubby at checkout. The island boys kissing made me gag. Two brothers sucking each other's dicks. Made me gag. Use code Wubby at gamersubs.gg. We have a new cup and a rolling tray coming soon. New flavor, too. This is the blood orange. Blood orange. Orange. Door hinge. Porridge. Incest pornage. Mm. <clears throat> I'll be honest. So, I, I, I'm so by So, oh. Oh! They are! Gamer sub said, dump it, dump it, dump it all, take him down, <laughs> we don't want him live. Um, oh, 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 my, okay, it's time, TT, I'm going to message you a number, you're going to call on behalf of me, that's fair, no, that's it, that's, that's number time, that's, that's fair, that's a big enough F. That's a big enough F for me. Uh, okay. But TT, I'm a little, okay, hold on. TT, now we're getting ahead of ourselves here, TT. Can we, can, can you message me what your plan is here? I'm going to send you this number, but you need to, if you're going to call on behalf of me, you need to call on like, and, and treat this professionally. You need to say like, I'm calling on behalf of him. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm his tech guy for his, uh, you know, for his content. Here's what's happening. Uh, yada yada. All right, I'm gonna send you this number, okay, TT? And yeah, you can use slurs, TT. I, I give you permission. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna send you the number, TT. Because that's it. I told you, if it goes down for real, for real, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm in there like swimwear. All right, there it is, TT. It's in your DMs. Feel free to do what you want. Leave a message. Do whatever. Yeah, say my client a lot. They may ask you to verify your account before speaking to TT. Well, then I then tell them to call me. Tell them to call me right now. I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll verify, verify this dick on my balls, dick in my nuts. Verify this dick. All right. I need to do some tests on your Wi-Fi ideally first. Dude, test these balls. Test these. All right, so Island Boys oral sex video. Can I delete that now? Do you guys feel satisfied or do you want to see it again? You guys want to see it one more time? One more time? All right, give me one second. 
You want to see it one more time? Yeah, just once? Okay. All right, chat. Let me actually, let me pose this to you as a question. Okay, watch. All right. Hold on. <laughs> chat, I want you to check your bias, okay? Because I'm the only one in this whole fucking room who's going to be honest. I want you to check your bias, okay? This is hot, right? This is hot, right? We all find this hot? What if I told you that these two women were, were married as happy lesbians? Still hot, right? Well, what if I told you that these two women were married and... These are... <sighs> well, all right, that, that got away from me. I, 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 yeah, it's fine. I'll be the first to admit it. All right, let's talk. Um, I'm gonna, I kind of want to brush past this one. This one's not that interesting because I don't even know who this is, but like he's huge. But I guess I'm going to use this to talk about a bigger point. Okay, so there. Does that, you know what? I really love prefacing everything I'm about to say and just confusing the whole audience and nobody gives a shit. Uh, do you guys know who Sapnap is? Uh, I believe he's a. Mm, you, okay, hold on. I want to see Minecraft YouTuber. I don't actually. Yes, he is. Minecraft YouTuber. He's a Minecraft YouTuber who has. 4.7 million subscribers, okay? If they're massive and you've never heard of them, they probably do Minecraft. 3.4 million Twitter followers. And recently, as in like the yesterday or, or yeah, yesterday, he put out a tweet that went as follows. And he did not touch kids. So you guys cannot spam that. That's not what this is about. Does he kiss his brother? So I'm going to get to that. He put out, a, or a video got leaked of him sucking his brother's dick. Uh, no, okay, so he put this out. Whatever, it's his big announcement, and what is it? Oh my god, this is so exciting, yada yada. Oh my god, it's, oh, he's moving to kick! Sap nap on kick! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Sapnap is moving to kick.com? Okay, right? Nobody cares, right? I, okay, I'm sure his audience cared. Well, actually, that's what we're talking about. His audience had a fucking meltdown. And I pity, legitimately pity the people who have built success on the backs of, like, the most soft children in the world, bro. I worry about them, right? Because, like... These dudes sneeze in the wrong direction, and it's like, you hate gay people! I can't, I can't imagine. Like, you look at, like, I don't, I don't necessarily support Dream or any of these dudes. Or, like, I know I've had my beef with Carl, but these dudes, like, breathe wrong. And their audience of, like, not well-adjusted 12 to 14-year-olds have full-blown, life-altering meltdowns on the internet, right? So, Sapnap... Uh, started getting mad cooked by his audience for moving to kick with a, a few tweets uh, that were compiled by um, the young Hassan editor. Hold on, let me show you some of these. Okay, look. So, like, uh, uh, how how money greedy do you have to be to sign up on one of the most god-awful platforms knowing that your fans are mostly people of color and LGBTQ plus cooked? Uh... We just want to let you know that we will not be updating when Santa goes live on kick out of respect for our admins who are people of color and part of the LGBTQ plus community, as well as anyone in the Sapnap community who also are, do not feel comfortable supporting this app. And it is not a safe space. Okay. Um, I'm not going to listen to any, anyone say Sapnap didn't, Sapnap ain't no kick is bad. Sorry, that sentence got away from me there. Everyone knows. And now he's bringing more people to an entirely bigoted ass app. Fostering a worse community than ever before. People disappointed in Savage and Kick every right to do so. It doesn't make anyone an anti for criticizing his decision on joining a bigoted, unethical platform. Let people educate. Like, dude, I've seen a lot of criticism of Kick. I've seen a lot of criticism, criticism of Aiden Ross. I, 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 Kick is like gambling thing. That's what people I thought had issues with was 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 like it's gambling money that made this platform. I didn't know Kick was like the anti-LGBTQ platform. I, when, since when is that what Kick? I didn't know that, but hold on. This is not the point I'm getting to. I'll get to it. It's valid to be upset about Sad Adrian and Kick when his entire fan base is almost entirely women. See, that actually is a true statement. 
Although I don't, I don't think, I think that's almost unfair to women and LGBTQ because I have women and LGBTQ people in my viewership and they're, you know, well adjusted and like adult, you know? So, okay. Why do I say this? Well, there's a reason why I want to bring this up is one that sucks. That sucks. You can't even make a business decision for your content and your future without like your entire community cooking the shit out of you. Uh, and, and the other thing I want to say though, is that, um, my issue with kick actually in my negotiations the problem is that with kick them, is bankrolled by the Saudi government who hates gay and murders journalists. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. So I'm just going to ignore that. Cause you can really just say whatever you want. My problem with kick is actually that kick does have a bad reputation online and through talking to kick though, there's this almost like, yeah, so attitude that I've noticed with them. When I was talking to them, I was like, hey, I want enough money to take the risk of attaching my name to this platform, right? I said that in so many words. And Kick's response is like, what do you mean? And I remember thinking that and I'm just like, what do you mean, what do I mean? I can give like five examples of people's audiences getting livid that they're going to Kick. Um, and, and, and I... I don't, but that being said, I would go to whatever platform pays me to make my content. So that way I can have freedom to make the content without being tied to, uh, you know, user funding. Right. But like, I was just, so seeing that I was like, I, this, the reason why I bring this up, it was so validating. I'm like, yeah, I think Sapnap's community is going, is, is kind of embarrassing going crazy, but also they are going crazy and a lot of people do like I bring up kick on the stream and there's this post on the subreddit that's like um I don't I'm not gonna follow Webby to kick da 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 like I don't hate him I just can't do it I can't support it and it's like that's real that is a real issue with kick and I wish kick would acknowledge that well they're like well you know you do get 95 five split and I'm like yeah but th the internet maybe in five years this could change right but I, I truly think Kick kind of blundered because Kick has not said anything, but for a short amount of time, they made their poster child Aiden Ross, and Aiden Ross is so incompetent, it's, it's almost hard to believe a company can be that dumb to ever put the spotlight on him when all Kick has right now is the hope that people will come to their platform with or paying people to come, right? So their name and what their name represents couldn't be more important than at a time like this. And I think the absolute biggest blunder of a decision was to get Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross, who like has said shit that has made me like, I try. It, off stream at least i'll try to play devil's advocate and see the good or the like maybe you're incompetent not evil aiden ross is one of the people who makes it absolutely the hardest to do i mean he just says things that are like bro you're i don't like throwing this word around because i think the twitter has found a way to make this word very overused hell my subreddit has found a way to make this word very overused. aiden ross is in my opinion really transphobic and pretty it, in in many ways, it's pretty homophobic in many ways. I mean, it's it. I don't. You know, I never throw around terms like that. And he and it's like, why would you want that to be your poster child, bro? What's wrong with you? Um, problematic to say the absolute least. And he is the like, no matter what, dude. Because Kick opened the door with him, like fully. He is our front man for a while because they did that. He is so associated with Kick. Even if Kick isn't really that associated with him anymore. They might even be fucking annoyed with him, right? But at this point, it's like, well, he's... What do we do, ban him? So, that's what I want to say about Kick. Would I still work with Kick? Yes, if I got a bag. Have they offered me a bag worth this kind of flack? No. No. He's a part owner. <sighs> That would explain the stupidity then of what I'm saying. I don't know that. He has equity in the company. Um, if that's confirmed, then that explains why he's still what he's doing. It's just, it's just not like... Sapnap's community is going too far, you know?
that doesn't make Sapnap anti-LGBT, and you could, Sapnap could have a safe space for those ple- people on that platform. I'm sure he is working hard to make that happen for them. But I don't blame general annoyance because, yeah, kick. Like, yeah, that I'm sorry, but the general discussion around the platform with kick is, damn, kick's looking really good. That's a great split. Oh, it's a really bad look to go there right now. It just is. It's all rumored. I have yet to see anything as solid evidence. That's why I said that. That's why I said I don't know for sure. If kick bans Aiden Ross, uh, they talked about it. Oh, kick backs Aiden hard. They talked about it during an interview. That's, um, I don't know how you can, like, I don't know. I don't know. Imagine defending the opinion of fuck gay people. Yeah, dude, a- a- Aiden Ross is, is, I mean, like I said, in the beginning, I was like, he's the he's the clown that we can all laugh at. And then, it, like, I, clips kept coming out, especially when he moved to kick, where I'm like, hey, hey, well, hey, I think you forgot the punchline. <laughs> I think you forgot, like, the setup, the punchline, the the irony. You're saying the... You're just saying the bad stuff. What are you doing? Uh, but that makes perfect sense. Train is heavily involved with leadership and he's Aiden's friend. But see, the crazy thing is too, I I don't know Train well, but I feel like I've seen enough of Train and interacted with him privately and seen what he says publicly. I, I don't know how Train gets along with somebody like Aiden Ross. I mean, he, he's, he, I would say that Aiden Ross has done more to damage Kick's reputation than uh, Kick being owned by stake. That's crazy. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't know. Train is a fucking wreck. Uh, you know what it is? I think they just... I, I won't let run. There was clips of Train disavowing some of the things Aiden's done. No, I, exact, Train has been like, you're out of line, right? But it's like... He's still the face currently. I guess they're trying to move XQC to be the face of Kick, which brings us to the next thing I want to talk about. Again, I'm not, I don't think XQC is nearly even on the same level as Aiden Ross. But, man, man, I don't know about that one either. I don't know. XCC was gambling with Aiden Ross yesterday. Has it, okay, I listen. I don't follow Aiden Ross well enough. You know, I was a lot more interested when um he moved to kick. I was keeping a closer finger on the pulse. Has 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 Aiden Ross walked anything back? I'm a man who b- firmly believes you give someone time and they can change, right? Has has Aiden Ross walked anything back? I mean like, hey, I was going through it. I fucked up. I messed up to these communities. I'm changed. I've been to therapy. No, he, then what, come on, man. Why are we gambling with him, man? What are we doing? Man. <laughs> okay, I love the way you worded that. He's walked it forward. He's getting worse. All right, let's talk excuses. So, okay, that's that's why I wanted to talk about kick. I don't, listen, I'm, I like I've said before, you, Wubby, you have double standards. Here's a great example of my double standard, right? If kick offered me $15 million, I'm on kick now. That doesn't mean I do have, I have a moral line that I won't cross. That doesn't mean I'm buddy, buddy with fucking Aiden Ross now. No, not at all. I'm going to have my own little bubble on that platform and I'm going to take my bag, right? Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. I'm searching for a bag so I can just keep going and enjoying this and making whatever the fuck I want with no risks, right? Having a good time. But I do have a line. My morality line is like, if Aiden Ross was on my stream, it would not be a, Hey, welcome. You know, um, Green man bag. So I want to be clear about that. I don't hate kick either. I'm just, I don't know. I just, in my conversations with them, I guess the point I was making is there's this very strange, like almost a little bit of copium, a little bit of denial that being on kick right now is a divisive look. It's actually a very divisive look. And for a lot of content creators, we don't want that look. That's it. That's all I'm saying. 15 mil, just buy your viewers back. Now, 15 mil, I go to kick. Whoever doesn't come with me, okay. We're, st- we're not doing anything different. We're going to do bigger productions, more fun things, right? Um, are you using this bit to strengthen your bargaining position? No, I actually think this is in a way burning a bridge, if I'm being honest. 
If I'm being fully transparent with you, I, hand to God, I believe today by even talking about this uh, is burning that bridge. And I do believe that I'm more comfortable doing that because uh, I have not been offered something that's worth my time. So I'm being honest with you. I would still do it, but I do not think this is helping my, helping my bargain at all. Here's what would help my bargain. Don't talk about it at all. Hit them up again and ask for a better deal. But I'm not doing that. I, 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 they gave me something. I came back. They gave me something. I came back. I stopped hearing from them. And now I'm like, well, yeah. And I think a lot of it has to do with like, just, I don't think they see the name kick as, or they don't publicly acknowledge that the name kick is, it, it does cause some issues right now. Helping? Did I say helping? I'm sorry. Uh, why not do a poll with subs on how many that would follow you? But then the other thing that they don't want to acknowledge too, and you would never, you can't acknowledge this chat. The kick cannot acknowledge this, right? Historically speaking, streaming platforms die in five years. Kick, right? Is, is, they will give you their answers of why they believe they're different. But if you're a businessman and you're looking at the business side of things, Okay. You would not be a betting man if you were going to bet on kick. You wouldn't. It would be silly to. That doesn't mean I don't believe they can make it. I'm saying that is called risk. We, 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 that in the biz, we call that risk. That doesn't mean I don't think kick can make it. It's called risk, right? And I'm not willing to dump my career because here's the thing, right? If I dump my career into kick and kick falls through and they did not give me a bag, I'm now stuck trying to get my life, figure out my fucking shit. But kick's good. They got steak. Everyone at the top's going to get probably a beautiful payout. All the big boys who got nice bags will probably get their contracts fulfilled. Everybody's good to go. So what am I risking it for? Right? You, and, and, I, and I communicate this to them, right? And it's just like, oh, well, you know, da, da, da. it's like, I, I, I hear you, but you're not going to be so nice when, you know, Five, six years down the line, Kick's not doing great. We're struggling. You're not going to pay the rent. <laughs> you know, that you're not going to, what are you going to do for me at that point? I'm on my own, as I should be. So I got to make decisions for me. You know what I mean? Um, so for that reason, that's why I deserve $100 million. <laughs> and for that reason, chap, that is why I deserve a quarter of a billion to sit here and rant. <clears throat> Why not do it for a free bag with no exclusivity contract? I would. I'm not getting offered a bag. I'm not getting offered a bag. Well, be warm. XQC tweet. XQC is going to cancel himself? <laughs> well, okay. Let's take a look here. I've interacted with XQC and DMs one time, and he types like he talks. It's very, it's very interesting. Okay, hold on. XQC tweet. Okay, hold on. Uh, tonight and tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to go live and leak it all to what the fuck? Oh my God. Wait, what's he about to do? What is he? Whoa, dude. Who's sweating? Okay, hold on. I'm, let me pull this up. I got, I, I'm scared to look at any XUC tweet. Um, I'm just going to screenshot it. I, I'm sorry. Y'all be replying with the most unhinged shit to XUC. Uh, Okay. Well, now we got to cover all of this. Oh, this is about Adept? Oh, I don't want to get involved in that at all. I don't want to get involved with the... Uh... Yeah, I'm not. That's... that's. I'm not interested in that. Not, and I want to be clear about why I'm not interested in that at all. Um, it, I have done an amazing job not involving myself in that uh, in terms of keeping up with it because my God... It doesn't feel like my business at all. Oh my God. And I know drama frog's going to feast. Let him feast. That's fine. You can enjoy it. But for me, I heard marriage. I heard divorce. I heard relationship. And I said, Hey, Hey, I'm not going to read 30 pages of, of, of things that shouldn't have been made public. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'll play. I'm going to be playing Baldur's Gate, brother. I'm good. I, I feasted when they were, when they were live screaming at each other, feasted. That was entertaining, right? But then it's gotten so muddy that I'm like, hey, hope you guys figured out. God bless you. I hope you figured out, you know? I hope everyone gets what the, happiness. Holy shit. All right, hold on. I don't know. Let's let's look at these tweets. They're saying, I, I want to, I wasn't going to talk about adept at all. That's not what I'm interested in. 
Um, I'm going to talk about something else with XUC, but let's let's look at this real quick. Okay. Tonight or tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to go live and leak it all. Too many lies are floating around, and before this becomes a massive game of telephone, I owe it to you guys to clear up what the fuck's actually going on. Man, this is so... I see why you guys feast, though. I see why... You, this is drama. This is like, holy shit, what's, what's going on? This is, this is, who asked? I hate to tell you. Hey, Crimson Wolf, brother, I'm with you. You feel too old for this, don't you? Crimson Wolf, I hear you, but I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Who asked? He's probably going to pull six-figure viewership. That's who asked. I'm sorry. I remember I was on a plane when, um, when XUC and Adept were getting into it on a call, right? And you can who ask all you want. They had like 90, 80, 90 K viewers, right? The internet asked, unfortunately. I'm not saying I agree. I think it's kind of gross. What's everything involved is kind of gross, but unfortunately, a lot of people asking. Um, I've been following too closely, and it's actually wild. I don't blame anybody for getting caught up in it. I just know it's like I don't want to contribute um, to it, even though I'm doing it right now. Let's continue. Uh, the cost of happiness is ridiculous. Bro, base. True, bro. True, bro. Do you think he got the like interior stitching on his McLaren, or do you think he didn't want to opt for it? I imagine you would, right? Anything I do that furthers me or gets me in a place that isn't as dark as it usually is, I get major pushback from every angel. I posted that I was moving to Vegas for a while yesterday to escape it all. Did you see the response? Wait, I didn't see the response. Felix, I want to hear the... I'm here. What's the response from you moving to Vegas? Now I'm in. Fucking I'm in. Chat, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I just unplugged my headphones. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, tell me about it. I want to know everything. Show, someone link me all the all the evidence, please. I want to hear it. Burke, thank you for the five subs. Okay, wait. I actually, I'm actually so curious to know what the response was of him moving to Vegas. What, what does anyone have that? Uh, uh. What is uh? His Reddit is wild. Does his Reddit hate him or love him? I have very mixed feelings on XQC. I don't know. I think that he he's he like everyone can be criticized for what he puts out into the world, but I think you know like I'm not going to sit here and psychoanalyze this man, which I think is the problem with internet drama, right? Like I don't want to call for this man's life to be fucking destroyed because I find him annoying. You know what I mean? Like I think it all can be true, right? Like do I think he's immature? Do I think he's annoying? Okay, you can fill in the blanks there. Do I think XQC is an evil man? No. And I think that people go a little far with those criticisms. And I'll even say, I don't know about the whole Adept situation, but like, I find the whole thing annoying. I find them both annoying. But are they evil? No. And I think that gets thrown around too easily. The people are too comfortable with saying that. He moved in with a friend, Pokelol. Okay, Poke, yeah. Started stressing him out by not cleaning and being a D-Gen. Hold on. Everybody, can we all gasp at the same time? <gasps> you moved in with XQC and he wasn't clean. Okay. Uh, Poke slowly got more and more put out until he, ex he asked X to leave two weeks ago. Oh, man. That sounds like a, that sounds like something I shouldn't weigh in on. Dude, isn't that the... Bro, one of the... There's two... There's two tools in your arsenal that I'm trying my best to, to do more of, okay? One of them's in my personal life. One of them's in my public life. I got two tools, all right? One of them I learned from an old Melee video. All right, here they are. Here are those two tools. The first tool, this is private life, okay? Everyone, take this with you. The most frame-perfect response that you can give right here. Ready? Hit them with a my bad. Don't sarcastic either, right? You don't have to win every argument in your personal life. Just hit him with a, uh, my fault. Easy, right? Frame, perfect response. You're good. You're out of most simple situations in your day-to-day. -day. Hit him with a, my bad. Hey, my fault, my fault. You can have your own opinions. Take them with you. Hey, my fault. The second one, this is for public use, right? And I, I'm, I, this is hard for me. I have to balance content and my real opinion. And I'm bad at it, but I'm trying. And I'm going to try to do that right now with the poke situation, right? If it seems private, don't weigh in. So the poke thing, I want to be like, well, this, well, this, well, this. Maybe I'll make a couple jokes. Or Wait, am I saying his name wrong? Is it pokey? 
Why am I saying poke? I know this. Sorry. Pokey. P pokey laws. Why am I saying... I'm... Okay, sorry, sorry. Pokey. My, here's my pokey thing, okay? I don't know the situation, so I'm going to go, ah, that sounds private. I don't know. I don't want to take a side there. That sounds private. I haven't always been like that. I've failed that many times. I'm going to try to do that, okay? It's, it's, it's pokey. It's poke. It's pokey, not poke. You guys are telling me two different things now. Pokey like to poke someone. What? The little, the, the little dark, the little, like the dude lives in a dark room and he's got bags under his eyes. The black shirt dude. You know who he fucking is. He's, he's everywhere. He is everywhere. Okay. You know who I'm talking about. Okay. It's poke, not pokey. Anyway, moving on. All right, let's go. Let's talk more about this. Now, this is crazy because um, uh, this is the whole reason XQC just got brought up. Did you guys see the debate between XQC and H3? Crimson New Type, thank you for the 10. Somebody gifted other subs. Thank you for the 10, though. Appreciate you. And Cap McGee, thank you for the 25. I appreciate it. Thank you both. Um, uh, uh, unfortunately, yes. I did, and I regretted listening to it. Okay, I watched it. I watched it at the gym, I think, last night, or, or was it today? No, I watched it at the gym. I don't know. Either way, I watched it at the gym, and man, I would show it to you guys, but it is long. XQC went on H3, and this is relevant to the stream that you're watching here, so hear me out. XQC went on H3's podcast to debate H3 about reaction content, fair use, the law and maybe the morality of it all xqc got in some hot water recently for uploading a full uncut video of um a youtuber's video where for minutes he gets up out of his seat and the video just runs no commentary no nothing xqc comes back and even makes a joke about it this kind of went viral so uh ethan in classic ethan fashion kind of went a little brazy on the show leftovers where he called out xqc rather rudely but still called him out xqc dm'd him they organized a debate they had a debate and it was bad uh, it was really bad xqc um you know he's uh, he's he's almost seems manic not gonna lie the dude is like i think i think he's he's losing it um i i think you should watch it and i will say this if you watch that debate and you think that xqc came out on top or had made stronger arguments i think that tells me a lot about you i'm not trying to be mean but xqc was like was like just he could not keep up he could and i don't even fully agree with ethan's take at all but XQC just could not even keep up. Like he was, it just, it was a bad look. Uh, how good is Ballers Gate? 10 out of 10 for me. Um, he was floundering. It was bad. We'll talk about that. I want to talk about my thoughts on the fair use thing and like reaction content. I do a lot of reaction content, a lot of reaction content. I love reaction content, but like, I really, I hope you guys can see. I try, this is my goal. Whenever I play a video, when I play a video on stream, my goal is to make it so that you are watching and watching Wubby watch a video, not watching the video. I want to be irreplaceable. I want you to go, hey, right, we can, let's go watch 90 Day. It's like, oh, that's fine, but I get a different product when I watch 90 Day with Wubby. Do you know what I'm saying? That's my goal. I want, I want to be giving you a product that is like legitimately different now granted sometimes i'll watch a short video right and uh i don't have everything to provide sometimes like hey we need to watch this, this is going to inform you we just watch like criticals video right i need him to explain something so i'm going to let him explain it but even the, i try i really try to make an effort to go hey if we're watching something you're watching for me you're not watching because we're watching this information video. You want to hear my opinion. You want to hear what I'm adding to it, right? It's still not your content, brother. Well, actually, technically, what I'm arguing is that I provide, that I do fair use. It's fair use uh, because I'm providing something that transforms the, the, the video. But I guess you'll have to take me to court to see. The point I'm making is that I don't like walking away 
Typically, I don't like sitting there silently for long periods of time. Typically. And I try, right? I care. XUC's whole thing was that he doesn't give a fuck. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about. XUC sent a DM to H3 that we're going to talk about real quick. <laughs> and this shit, I have to show you guys. This is unhinged, bro. This is on uh, H3's Twitter. He tweeted this out. I believe H3 walked back some of these tweets because he felt bad for like leaking certain stuff. But um, this one is still up and I'm going to talk about this one. So I believe this was after their uh, the podcast debate. Okay. The, this is after their the podcast debate did not go well. XQC ultimately got hung up on. So you can probably imagine the final moments were not great. So this is their little exchange that I'm going to show you. I know it kills you inside. You lost so much time and money in that lawsuit. H3 went over this already, but I got to show this. He goes, which one? Kind of a, kind of a, I'm sorry, kind of a good response. Kind of a good response. Not going to lie. Which one? I don't know. Whichever really, you seem so bitter after it. H3, you could, you could tell he's not engaging at all. And he goes, I'm fine. So then XUC continues. This is crazy. This is where it's like, bro, what are you doing? doing xqc what are you doing bro anyway when the bills kick in and you're struggling remind yourself you leak dms out of insecurity and he hits him with a photo of his new watch or or a watch i guess and don't forget i got your whole house on my wrist man yeah okay chat pointed out something very smart here you cannot be firing tweets out like this without any with, with your grippers in carpet brother if you are gonna be like bro i got this six plus figure watch on my wrist i better not see your man feet my man put a shoe on put a sock on change the angle why are you on the floor why are you sitting on the ground for this? Like, I just imagine he's sitting there, like, back up, like, like you're texting, like, your little sweetheart. I don't know. He's like, oh, I got to send this photo. <laughs> Kissy face. Like, what are... I, okay, I know. It's only... Hold on. How much is... How much is this watch? I'm actually curious. Can somebody get me on here? It's a 200K watch. He paid... For, hold on. Hold on. It's a 200K watch that he paid 400K for. I'm not sure I believe that. Can somebody give me a, a, a proof of that? God, dude, I gotta say, you know, I'm a, I'm a sub baiter. I'm a, I bait subs. I love subs. I, 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 I'm a, I am a little money whore for you guys, right? Why, are, why, does it, why does XUC have a single sub? When he does shit like this, like if I was giving money to XUC because I liked his content and I saw stuff like this, I would go, nah, nah that's it. That's it on that. I'm good on that. Nah, 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 nah. I'm good on all that. Hey, thank you, Salty Caesar, for the 10. I'm looking at a couple watches right now if you guys are interested. Crimson New Time, thank you for the 10. It's 650K according to some sites. Okay, I got to keep it a buck though. That is not even close to the cost of H3's house. Like, I don't even think that's, pro that's probably not even a fifth of it, if I'm being honest. The, what, the H3 millionaire in LA, that's got to be... Dwayne with the 100 subs! Sorry, this is really awkward timing. Okay, can you guys just save it two days for the subathon, please? Uh, anyway, thank you. Yeah, we're doing a subathon. I'm going to get myself a watch like that. Um, maybe the down payment? Yeah, maybe, but I it just... I, don't, I, I saw this tweet, and I normally... Guys, I normally tried i don't care oh xuc gets into petty drama with h3 who the fuck cares right i know i didn't but this tweet i thought was so unhinged i had to i tell me am i tripping or is this just the most unhinged shit ever bro i'll be in maine you know i know Dwayne. i'm sorry i know you told me before stream what does this guy do for a living that's xuc what do you mean what does he do for a living it's 650k i have the ad proves that xuc has no fucking clue how expensive anything really is yeah, you, I mean, he's definitely at that financial level. You could be a dumbass with money when you look at your 1K phone that has the... T oh, I see what you're saying. Well, dude, what, most people who are buying expensive watches, you don't, you don't even probably check it for the time. 
probably still pulls out his phone. Uh, he's in a tough place emotionally, and he's being attacked. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, like, I, 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 I we're, 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 fu we're being mean. Granted, I know that. Um, and I know XUC is a human being, and he has issues that don't probably, he has probably issues. He's probably dealing with things emotionally, stress, yada, yada. I'm not woe is hemming him. Woe, woe is hemming him. Woe is meing him. I'm not doing that. But like, um, no, I'm not saying that's an excuse. I'm more so just saying, yeah, I, I can humanize the guy. I get it. I get it, right? He's probably struggling, right? That doesn't mean that that wasn't like a fucking crazy thing to do, bro. It's cr that was like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Oh, he's, he's not human. He's French. Fair. Never mind. Um, I get it, but bro can't be doing this. And that's fair. That's fair. But I'll say this, chat. You saying the words, I get it is probably more than a lot of the internet is is giving him right now and i think that's fair hey i get you you could say i get you're going through it i think you might need help i think you might need to talk to someone that wasn't justified that's very fair take very fair take i can humanize so i can't humanize someone quebecan a man brother can you use the word ergo once during the stream fuck I, I i know i've heard that word i feel like if you used it in conversation i would know what you meant but i don't know how to use it myself therefore okay okay i got you i got you i got you ergo um well anyway ergo <laughs> let's talk uh that's not working uh 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 ergo you are dumb oh shit a oh, rat bro Boohoo the sad millionaire. See, that's that I think that right there is uh is is the worst take. Boohoo the sad millionaire is exactly um what's gonna help no one, really. You're not gonna it's that's that's called Twitter points. That's how you get non-millionaires on Twitter to rise up with you and go, yeah, wait a minute. Fuck uh fuck XQC. He's a baby man with no it's no he is unlovable and he should be put down. And that's it. It's that simple. It's like, yeah, no, like, I think the dude needs some help at this point. He, he said on the on the debate that he's been staying up. He stays up for days at a time, and 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 then he'll sleep for like six hours after. I'm like, that. I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna analyze him, but like, as just a guy listening, that worries me. That worries me. You're saying drugs. I don't know. That just doesn't sound good, right? And because he's rich, he doesn't deserve help. Because he's rich, he doesn't deserve empathy. Maybe you feel that way. That's your right. But I'm, I'm gonna listen. I feel I. That's crazy. I feel bad for the guy. He's fucking losing his mind publicly. Horse Kim Kardashian. Horse Kim Kardashian. Uh, when you make twelve billion an hour, you feel off. Okay, that. I think your number might be a little low. <laughs> No, you're right, dude. He's probably locked into some crazy contract that's just like, you need to fucking put hours down now, motherfucker. Now. Brother, teach us to have compassion. Nah, let me tell you right now, guys. Here's what I want from you, okay? Be, you, you guys, if you guys will be non-compassionate online as a way to get it out of your system and then in real life you'll be compassionate, then keep, keep, it, keep it up. Keep it up, okay? I, th I find that to be true. I find that people online are the, so the least compassionate. Ergo, in real life, you'll be more compassionate. Maybe not, but whatever. Shut up, fatty. See, uh, but you see this thing is you won't do that to a guy who is working at a cash register who's overweight and he hands you your money. How's your day? You're not going to go, shut up, fatty. I will be the fatso sponge then. Hard disagree. I'm going right now to 7-Eleven, and I'm going to berate that fat fucking ogre behind the front desk, dude. Uh, uh oh, Q the please don't do this. What do you do? Not go to people and 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 do not attack people. All right. Anyway, what's the content tonight? There is none. So, uh, real quick, now that we gave XUC a pass, let's take it all back. So, uh, here's a fun little clip that Peanut linked to me before stream, and. I'm going to talk about something right now. I'm going to unearth some, uh, I'm going to unearth a hatchet, but then I'm going to bury it again. Okay. I'm going to dig up a hatchet. I'm going to make commentary 
and then I'll put the hatchet back underground. All right, so XQC was going to a chess tournament, and uh, uh, Sea Dog, who is someone uh, that I recently learned through Ludwig, who this person was, very, very popular, okay, uh, gave some commentary about XQC being, I think he was late or he showed up late or something. Um, but here's where, here's what Sea Dog had to say. And I want to give you guys a fair warning. Sea Dog, it's his stream. He's welcome to do whatever he wants, but he does this very cringe thing where he fakes an accent. So here is Sea Dog. Here we go. I guess Hape is really genuinely entertaining. I think the problem is, is that it doesn't matter how entertaining you are. I think when you, when you're a, you don't value people's time, people's effort, you know, I think that's something that people just universally dislike. I agree. You know, because in these shows, right, it's not only just your opponent, the commentators, there's like tw like 20 people working the event. And it doesn't matter how famous you are. You know, I think ultimately being a dick to everyone. This is a take that um, I said a couple years ago, and it got me into the biggest beef of my career. And like wasting everyone's time and money uh, because they, they trusted you to turn up. It's just really disrespectful, and I think people universally just dislike that. Um, and I, you know, I, I think memes aside, ah, I actually never shows up. Like, like, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm shocked he still gets invited, and I'm shocked that he agrees is the biggest thing. I everyone's like, why do we invite him? Why the fuck does he agree when he knows he's not going to show up? Um, okay, so he just said a lot. So first up, uh, yeah, this was something that me and Miskiff got into way earlier, and I'm unbearing this hatchet not because I'm saying I like Miskiff now quite a bit actually. And Miskiff, I'm going to give him credit right now beyond what I can say about almost anybody else. Uh, I invited Miskiff to do something, and the kid was on top of it. And he made me feel um, like I don't care what he says in his private life. Miskiff made me feel, like, respected. And that's I, great. I don't, I, that, that's enough for me. I don't know what, like, listen, I'm not going to sit here and and... Say, I know, I'm not going to peer into his soul and know who he is, but I know when I hit him up for something recently, he was on top of it. He hit me and he was, he, he made me feel like my time was valuable and he was willing to work with me on that. And I appreciated that, right? In the past, years ago, uh, he annoyed me because I, he gave me the impression that his time was more valuable than everybody else's. And I remember I, I said that, I, or I, maybe I said it immaturely and, and, Probably kind of stupidly, I, I attacked instead of saying it, right? I didn't say it like this. Um, and that's what started this whole thing between him and I. And since then, I have not gotten that experience from Miss Kiff at all. He grew up, and I think maybe I grew up, or at the very least, we're, we're, yeah, we, we've, we've learned a little bit, right? Now, that being said, uh, XUC been doing this shit for like 10 years, bro. <laughs> like... I have been I have been talking about XQC's inability to respect other people's time because I I have very rarely been in the same event as XQC but only a couple times have I and every time every time it's just like the whole the gang's all here we're waiting on XQC though and and every time you have this moment it's kind of a conversation you have in your own head here's how it goes why the fuck does XQC kept getting, keep getting invited? This is disrespectful. P he should just be blacklisted from this shit every time. And then every time you answer, oh, because he brings viewership. Oh, well, never mind. We're willing to make everyone wait. We're willing to make everything hold up. We'll, we're willing to make people who are being paid to run this wait. Well, because he's going to bring like 50,000 people are going to watch with him. Reality is garbo. But it's true. That's the game, right? Money talks. Exactly. But uh, it is really, this was an interesting clip. This was fascinating to see this. Just watching him say this, I was like, damn. It takes me back to when like me and Miz were beefing. It feels so stupid. It feels so distant at this point. And it's crazy that back then I was thinking, yeah, XCC doesn't show up to shit. Like that's his whole thing. I've heard private conversations and public conversations just where it's like, yeah, yeah, no, we know. He's, he's probably not going to show up. I'm like, then how the fuck did he get invited? But did you see how much he spent on the watch? Now, I did see that. I did see how much he spent on the watch. And I will say, uh, he's wearing my house on his wrist. 
So that was pretty badass. <laughs> and I saw his heel too, implying his, his dogs were out. And that was pretty fucking badass. Uh, XQC's audience. Well, we come back. Where'd you go? I want to reset. Ludwig had to send stance to personally pick up XCC to get him to his own game show. <sighs> man. Just man, bro. Just man. Just man. Connor does nice charity things. Good for him. Good for him. Um, he's wearing three of my house on his wrist. He's got a strong wrist. <laughs> Last day of merch is Friday, I believe. Or Sunday? I don't actually know. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> With how much you spent on the watch, you'd think he'd have a high... Oh, dude! That's such a good... Okay, there's a... Dude, there's a fire tweeter. There's a fire tweeter, right? Bro, like... Bro, maybe... Bro, maybe use that... Maybe use that watch to show up on... Maybe... Bro, hold on. There's a good... There's a good joke here, bro. The ho homie is late to everything, but also just flexed a very expensive watch. Somebody could slap some of the... One of the... Do you know what it is? One of these YouTube editors for, for one of these streamers. Anyone... Anyone of the... Uh, like, the top five... Just chatting streamers, any one of their editors, I'm giving you a, this is your tweet right here, okay? Because you guys put it together better than we can. Um, 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 for how much you spent on that watch, you think he could tell the time. Boom, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Boom, with a cup of photo, boom. Uh, spend 650 can on watch and doesn't know how to show up. Yeah, you got, okay, we got it, guys. We know now. See, now it doesn't sound that funny. Everyone, everyone thought of it. Everyone thought of it already. You see the watch? No shot. He can tell the time on. That's actually true, dude. What I got? Can we? Can we take a step back and have uh, uh, an unfair conversation? That's sheer opinion. That watch is hideous. Watch guy is probably in shambles. I get it. That watch was. I mean, it was hideous. You already gave them two jokes tonight. Was that a third one? That will give that a third joke. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also not. Let's push out this sub baby uh, Twitch Unity Webby Seven. I'm not big on um, watches like that. There's like a, like, I like the way expensive watches look, but then you see like the Conor McGregor fucking, it's got a fucking galaxy and it's got a fucking time Ben 10 alien. When you get to that level of expensive where it's like unimaginably of expensive watches, you go, that's fucking hideous, brother. That is the most disgusting watch I've ever seen tacky ass bro like yeah i like some rolexes i don't own any but i liked a few that i've seen and they're simple just silver band there's very very plain i'm like that's cool i like the way that looks right simple i don't own any rolexes for the record before you get all up my ass right um the nicest watch i own was a gift um from alex i got an omega watch she got me that as a gift and i love that watch and it's you would looking at it you would think it's a cheap watch if you don't know watches just a cheap ass looking watch and i like that uh, my normal watch, like what watch will I be wearing normally in my day to day if I was going to watch? I have like a sport, like a the Galaxy, like active one. That's it. Right. Um, which Omega? I forget. Uh, now Omega's. I love the look of Omega, bro. I'm just saying if let's be honest. I had a bowl of spaghetti tonight that looked better than that whack ass watch. I got to be real, too. I, 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 I got to be real. I got to be. What the fuck? I gotta be real. I agree. 6K wash. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. Omegas are classy. I agree, bro. I agree. I agree. I have a cheap ass Casio. I do too. I have like the, I think it's Seiko. It's like the flat one. Like the really, it's in my room. I could grab it. That like, I think it's Seiko or Casio. I don't know. It's like the flat silver one that looks like old. Let me see if I can find it. I love wearing that one. Um, Let me see. Hold on. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's like cheap. It was like Amazon, like 50 bucks or something. Is it Seiko? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. So rich and you have bad taste. Oh, wait. He has bad taste. Well, we can have a birthday kiss. Sure. I'm wearing a Casio one right now with a silver band. Looks good, bro. Bro, I'm going to tell you around. Unless you're a watch guy, just get a cheap watch. It do not matter. There's like quality watches that aren't going to be all, you know, the name. Quality watches. That are cheap, that'll tell the time, and it'll look good. If you're a watch guy, I have no disrespect for you. You get it. That's your hobby. I spend a lot of money on cardboard, my man. Okay? I get it. But for everybody else, just go build a deck on TCG Player. Okay? It's that simple. I watched Fellowship for the first time before stream as Frodo 
good for anything except for getting stabbed. Don't be rude. Don't 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 be rude. All right, let's continue. Who here knows who Lil Tay is? Lil Tay, Lil Tay. Who she was? Is she okay? I gotta be real. Hold on. Okay. No. Well, cool. I have this cute little video by uh, you got. Hey, your favorite chat. Sunny version two. Remember man versus food? We're never gonna finish that video, not even on the subathon. Um, this is her. With that watch, you'd think he'd value people's time. Bro, ah, oh, can I tweet that? No, I don't want to get involved. <laughs> it's going around that she's not dead. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's pull this shit up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I gotta go to my DMs. Okay, hold on, peanut put. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Sapnap is so cooked, his crew is turning on him? It's because I like... F Wait, what? Frankly, the majority of Sapnap's demographic is people in communities such as LGBTQIA+, um, younger demographic and stuff like that. I feel like this platform is not a safe place to be openly trans not a safe place to be openly jewish not a safe place to be black for example it's in Robert, look up bell and ross i'm sure you would like the design kisses sane oh, he's and i just cooked. i don't like i feel like it's great that you want to spearhead that positive change but also with such a large and powerful voice you have, and so much good you can do with that voice. It's, it's best that you're more responsible with where you want to bring your community and you have a responsibility to protect them. Okay, chat, I, I'm, I'm gonna be a reasonable person here. Okay, chat, what do you, what's your opinion on this? What is, what is your opinion on this? Because I want to see where he's coming from and I'm trying to. I also, I don't know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's tough because here's here's my here's my uh, here's my opinion but i want i don't care but then hey listen then don't then don't weigh in i'm asking for people who do care i want to know i this is fascinating to me this is fascinating to me as somebody who's looking to move to kick if they can offer me enough money so to the people who do care um hey son did you hi. hear gino from 90 days gave jasmine a golden shower we're gonna get to that um it, it, the thing, like, the Minecraft kids, they let their community demand so much from them and do so much and, and all this shit. And I have this, like, adversity to bending the knee to your audience to that extent, right? Like, you know what would be so cool is if, if, if what's his name, Sabnap just came out and put out a tweet Why and said, Tom suck Holland my, my dick. Giving this suck my fucking dick. I'm going to kick. If you don't like it, then don't fucking watch. If you don't like it, then don't fucking watch right that's my instant thought but i'm watching this video and i'm trying to be more empathetic i am so i'm going okay do they have a point if i if if, if here's where i'm at do they have a point yes no i'm leaning no but i'm open to hearing okay am i missing something to this if your favorite streamer goes to a platform um if your favorite streamer goes to a platform that you don't agree with right and you hate, oh, how dare you? And you're having a meltdown, right? Isn't it time to just like, like stop watching? Like who, may, who makes these posts like they're talking to their friend? You know what I mean? If Peanut did something, a friend of mine, I would hit him up or I would talk to him about it. But like, I don't know if Game Grumps moved to Rumble, something way out of left field, right? I would probably go to my friends privately did you hear this? Let's discuss. But like, I don't know who's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Uh, you shouldn't be that invested in a person, but it's okay to be annoyed. That's fair. See, look, we're coming to some sort of conversation agreement here. Okay. I can, I can allow that. Kick from my experience has a really toxic chat environment. Okay. Here we go. Give me some info chat. It's parasocial though. Yeah. He got a bag and came up with a, re a reason to make it look good. Wait, is he trying to say... Oh, wait, is he trying to say that he did this as, like, a positive change attempt? 
Oh, that might have not been the angle. Sabnap, you got to just come. Oh my God, look at how satisfying that is. My camera is like perfectly cutting off at my taskbar. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh my God. Unintentional, but amazing. Look at this. Look, I'll do it with something brighter. Look at this. Now I'm going to put this down back behind my taskbar. Oh, you're lost your mind. Sorry, what were we talking about? <laughs> um, uh, dude dug his own grave. Kick is the new platform right now. Quite honestly, Quick is a new platform right now that honestly doesn't have a great resonation. Rise. I would love to, sp to spearhead positive change at Kick. Maybe he's being honest, but here's what my response would have been. In fact, this has been my response to you guys. And this is what I would say. Wubby, I'm a, if an LGBTQ person reached out and said, Wubby, I'm hurt that you're going to Kick and I can no longer watch you. I would say, Thank you for the time that you did watch. Uh, I took my bag. God bless. Find a streamer who's more fitting for you. God bless you, brother. I hope that I entertained you during the time you were subbed. Have a good fucking life. This isn't an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Take it easy, boss man. I mean no disrespect to you. But listen, I'm, I, I am going to keep going, and I hope you do the same, my man. But I, I think maybe he blundered here by saying I would love to spearhead positive change at kick. Like that does open the door to more conversation as opposed to, hey, hey, brother, I'm getting my bag. Goodbye. Well, maybe I'd follow you to hell. Don't do that though. Uh, what's up with the time in the video? 10.55 PM. What do you mean? What's wrong with the time? Ah, whatever. Interesting. I thought this was interesting. Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Lil Tay. Let's finish up Lil Tay. Now, okay. How there's there's there is because there is a potential dead child or children involved. I'm going to limit. You see, OniPixel talks about you. No, I didn't see him, but I hope he said something like, uh, 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 uh what is it? What's another? What's an Oniism? He goes. He goes. Uh, he, hold on, I'm not gonna look at chat. I'm just gonna recite him off memory. Here we go. He goes. He goes. Uh, uh, you smell me? Ah, majula, butter, bruda, bruda. Lol, chat. Lol. Yeah, there it is. Madrilla, madrilla. Jeepers. I hope he said something like that. Um. Anyway, no, I love Oni Pixel. I hope he said nice things. Why is Will Neff in your tags? Hold on. What is a tag, brother? Madrilla. Uh, you see, apparently she went missing or something. Okay, so Lil Tay, let me just pull up. You'll recognize her when you see her. I went to Discord to look for the Lil Tay thing, and I got distracted by another DM of this. Oh, man, I just, I'm, I'm on one. Okay, here we go. So this is her. You've probably recognized her if you were on the internet. I don't know what she does, but I know what she, who she is, right? This is her. She, like, blew up. Uh, a few years ago, like five years ago or something. She's a kid. She's 14 now. She blew up when she was nine. Um, and apparently, according to her Instagram post today, she fucking died. Now, my brain, my first thought was, like, I, how do I do this? If there are is one or two dead children... This is a tragedy, and there is no joke or conversation that should be happening other than, I really hope the family is doing okay. However, with who Lil Tay is, and, and the situation around her, first off, it's absurd. It is, this is a, even if it's real, this is a fucking crazy story, right? Also, if you know anything about her, I'm concerned. Th um, how do you say this, right? I hope it's a publicity stunt because I hope a child isn't dead. You see what I'm trying to get at here? It, it, like, I hope this is all a publicity stunt. Here, I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you at the poster. With a heavy heart, it is with a heavy heart that we're sharing the devastating news of our beloved Claire's sudden and tragic passing. We have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. The outcome was entirely unexpected. What does this, see this? It's this like, I don't care who you are. This is odd. This is odd. Two children dead. And the only post you get is, man, this is uh, sucks, dude. This outcome was not what we were looking for. 
What does that mean, bro? This outcome was entirely unexpected. What? And has left us all in shock. Her brother's passing adds an even more unimaginable depth to our grief. So her and her brother. Like, what? But was it? A, yeah, people are saying Cox in it. Like, yeah, I get, like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, during this time of immense sorrow, we kindly ask for privacy. I think that's, I mean, yeah. Uh, privacy as we grieve for the overwhelming loss and circumstances surrounding Claire and her brother's passing. Her brother didn't even get mentioned by name. Uh, un, well, hold on. As the circumstances sur I didn't even read this far. I, I just wanted to talk about this on stream. As the circumstances surrounding Claire and her brother's passing are under investigation. Okay, what? Claire will forever re remain in our hearts. Her absence leaving, her absence leaving an irreplaceable void that will be felt by all and those who loved her. What? Okay, this shit is wild, bro. Lil Tay d dies at age fourteen. Maybe a hit and run. I don't. Okay, I don't follow anything uh, about the LAPD. Said they are not investigating. Oh, this is kind of weird. Oh, this is kind of weird. That's a girl who makes fun of people. Yeah, so the thing that's, you know, her career was annoying. You know, her whole shtick was being this loud, shit-talking child. That's how she got fame, right? It was a joke. She was this weird, ironic, rich child who was like, uh, uh, you're fucking poor. Like a kid saying is what made it was made it funny. Here, I'm going to show you a little brief. Like, we don't have to watch this whole thing, but I want to show you a little bit so you know who she is. While searching for you. This came out long before she, maybe before she died. This came out, this is, this is well before. So anything in here, keep that in mind. Need content to react to in late 2017. Rice Gun would stumble across this bizarre video. It's Lil Tay. I'm richer than all y'all. I'm nine. She's I was nine. born in Atlanta. And I'm Bro, gone to, they should have, it should have been rice gum. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It should have been rice gum. I'm joking. But for real, like, God, any, I can't, I feel like we're starting to get to that age now where the rice gum fans, you got to be looking back at yourself going, man, man, fuck, dude. Bro, they can vote. I think they know then. Lil Tay, I'm richer than all y'all. I'm nine. She's I was nine. born in Atlanta, and I was broke as. Look at me now. I'm all better than you. After being featured on Rice Gum's channel, the girl in the video would identify herself as Lil Gucci Taylor and respond to Rice Gum. <laughs> is that her? Is that her? Is that like Charles Entertainment Cheese? Little little Gucci Taylor. Um, in yet another video. He dropped the video on me, so today we be reacting to that. Spotting a consistency in her strangely hilarious attitude, people began to ask questions about her story. Was Bro, literally, literally my chat five minutes ago. I swear to God, this is pulled from my chat. Right, like, eighteen people said this a hundred and fifty times over the last five minutes. Y'all have been who the fuck? Was this a genuine expression of her personality? For a time. I'm or not going to lie. Forced to say these things by another family member. Okay, that kind of adds a, an angle to this. Man, I don't want this to like. What's the best outcome here? That her family is like a mega piece of shit and faked her death. I guess that's the best outcome because then she's alive. But my God, that is an insane play, dude. And it's like you don't want to sit here and go, well, you know. I hope they're not lying. It's like, no, you you don't want chill. Like, man, I don't know. The audience would eventually get the answers to each of these questions. However, in the process, would also be met with allegations, court cases relating to the what, al what allegations? Distribution of Little Tay's money and the complete deterioration of her family's public image. Wait, we, we, okay, hold on, hold on. I pulled this video up because uh, uh, I, this was going to tell me who Little Tay was. I did not know there was a whole. Oh boy. After disappearing from the internet a few years. Okay, Cyan Fan, I am not going to read that. Not because you did anything wrong, but because I believe this video is going to talk about it. What about the millions of dollars you stole? Real mature, Chris. You're going to act 
You're gonna act like you're the right Revealing one of the most tragic stories on the topic of childhood fame. After being discovered by Ricegum, as previously mentioned, her notoriety would skyrocket. And owing to this newly found level of social media success, the degree to which she would flex her wealth slowly escalated with each and every new YouTube video. Lil Tay would also create an Instagram Look at her YouTube bio, I'll check that after. ...account, where she would once again begin to post photos and videos displaying how rich she apparently was. I'm only nine years old, I ain't got no license, but I still drive this sports car. You're See, chat, look, you ask who the fuck cares, who is this? This video had almost 14 million views. I'm telling you, chat, if you didn't know who this is, that's fine. But she, at the time, she was, she, she, she was everywhere. She was fucking everywhere. And I'll be honest, I'm going to be very transparent. She was everywhere because everyone loves shitting on her. <laughs> like, yeah, she was a kid, but it was just fun to pull this shit up and be like, look at this little asshole. Which is where her popularity would absolutely explode. Only two weeks after making her Instagram account, Lil Tay had gained 1.2 million followers. Okay, with I'm gonna less look at her YouTube bio because you guys can't This stop. girl, Lil Tay, has like 500,000 followers on Instagram. 700,000. She just went up by 300,000 subscribers in one day. A level of fame that granted her access to a load of other huge celebrities. Like she's hanging out with Whoa Vicky, who's just trash. That's all it is, right? Yeah. She would post photos with Chief Keith, XXX Tentacion, Lil Pump. Lil Tay's YouTube channel. I'm on it right now. Okay. Uh, th okay, go to her about section. Okay, this is going to be a comical screen grab noise. So this is very serious. Just ignore the noise. Her YouTube description. Someone needs to look up when this was updated. Her YouTube description says, help me. It was updated months ago. That's not good. Okay, but the screenshot noise was kind of funny. And would even appear in a video where Bad Baby was attempting to fight Wall Vicky. Okay, but <laughs> yes! All of these events continue to push Lil Tay further and further into the mainstream. Wait, who is Joseph Rogaine talked about her? See, chat? See, you're getting an out. She was everywhere. Little Tay, wait. Little no. Tay is a nine year old girl uh -huh. who is famous now on the internet for showing all the money she has <laughs> and all the things she buys. I can tell when I watch Joe Rogan based on the background behind him. It's, it's, he makes it really easy to know when you used to enjoy his content and then where he is now, you know? And also, I, mi I miss him too. He died recently. Her apparently insane lifestyle continued to escalate. She displayed nicer and nicer cars. Lil just copped a brand new Ferrari. While bragging about how she had gone for... <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm, on, I'm with Lil Tay. It's funny as fuck. Like, just, she, oh yeah, you copped a Ferrari, Lil Tay? Is that true? Little Gucci Taylor? From living in the hoods of Atlanta to living in the hills. When I was six years old, I lived in Atlanta and I was broke. And now we be living in the hills. See that view? Y'all don't have that view. This video about her living in the hills would go on to gain the attention of Jake Jesus, Paul. Jake Paul looks so different. Oh my God. Or who would invite her to the Team 10 mansion for an interview. Invite Little Tay to my house, to the Team 10 mansion. God, Where she he, bro, keep the beard forever. I'm not even trying to be mean. Valid beard choice. Valid. She would answer numerous questions, including her thoughts on rice gum, the person who had made her famous in the first place. He is irrelevant. He's trying to get close, so he made a video on me. After noticing that Little Tay was getting involved in interviews, she would be invited onto the Zack Sang show, where she would be asked, Does Little Tay want to change the world? I mean, I kind of already did. While once again maintaining the narrative that she was <laughs> a nine-year-old millionaire. She comes off, she, she comes off very coached, uh, which is, you know, I always say, like, if she's having fun, okay, but also I do worry about the... How many cars do you have now? A little over 10. Wow. <laughs> what does 10. that mean? How many, how many houses? I mean, why, why are you even surprised? I'm the youngest flexor of the century. However, understandably, the audience was skeptical at best. How much of this is an act? This could be just some elaborate social experiment or prank of some sort. And I mean, come on. Of course the audience was skeptical. To have a nine-year-old acting this way saying they used to be broke when they were six. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Little Tay, the plot thickens, posted on the subreddit. Chat, this is what I'm talking about, bro. 
Okay. I don't know who this account is, but I am here to spread as much misinformation and muddy the waters right now as I possibly can with my audience. So if you'll allow me to do that, I'm going to do that right now. Here is a photo, some random fuckwad on my subreddit posted that I'm now going to present to you as absolute fucking gospel. This was torn straight out of the Quran, and we are going to read it, baby. Here we go. Who the fuck is Termini? That's her. That's got to be her. Okay, to be clear, I am not dead. I don't have access to my account. And, or I don't have access anymore to the Lil Tay Instagram account. My sisters and I were winning our case. It was a couple of days before we got it all back. I don't think this... Okay, but no, for real though, this doesn't seem real. As in like... The, I, 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 don't, I don't feel like this is actually her. My sister and I were winning our case. It was... Which is kind of... You know, again, I'm, I'm trying to be... I'm, I am making a joke, but I do want to make it serious. Like... Who does this if this child is actually no longer alive? Like, this is crazy. I just want to know, you know? Like, wait, they asked for follows? We asked to share this post, your story, and follow this account for more updates in a couple hours. Yeah, it's got to be. But, like, man, this is... <sighs> Twitter, there's the Twitter account? I'm not clicking that. Why was she suing her parents? I don't know. I don't e I'm. I just found out she was suing them in that comment she said we're about to win our case i don't know but they became a millionaire by nine had to be a total joke to support this a lot of the early videos felt forced and acted i'm so st i thought she was sitting on his lap i'm like that's bold rice cup as an example when she went to meet jake paul you can tell that she's trying not to laugh your like my house is like way i mean it's lit and all but my house is way bigger than yours. Okay. Oh. in addition to this you can see the cameraman and the driver of the car both smiling and laughing behind the camera Bro, does jake One paul live in a museum what is this she looks like balboa park where my San Diego natives at? Where my friendship garden homies? <laughs> All right, a couple people there. What's good? Yo, yo, what's good? The thing was assumed by almost everyone. The whole thing was an act, nine, but there were still eight, so many eight, five, unanswered eight. questions. Who came up Wait, with- Wait, that's not, is 858? Or is that, is it, yes, no? The idea, how were her parents involved? What was the overall goal of the persona? With such a huge following and so many invested into figuring out the details behind her story, it was only going to be so long before people began to discover the truth. In May 2018, only five months into her journey as the youngest flexor of the century, Lil Tay would be exposed for who she really was. <gasps> who is she? She's 40 years Little old, she's Tay's black. Lil big brother, who's like 16 years old, is the one that is controlling her and telling her what to say. On the was that big news, Keem? Was that big news though? Come on. 23rd of May 2018, Keemstar will post a tweet stating, Lil Tay being coached what to say by her brother. Oh, Sam. I remember Lil this. Lil Tay be popping on YouTube right now. Um, be like more ignorant. Well, no one was all that surprised to see that Simon it was an act. To Many you were regarded. That's why I never touch raw chicken anymore. Bro, Laser Beam has had the same profile picture for five fucking years, dude. Laser, Laser Beam, Laser. I was surprised to see the brother being so aggressive while coaching her. Child abuse. Lamaria, this is actually so sad. I feel bad for that little girl. Yo, this poor girl. I always had this suspicion. Others thought that the whole thing was an even deeper conspiracy, being that the video had been leaked deliberately to add more fuel to the fire. Bro, why would this be filmed? What yeah, if getting true. caught was all a part of the plan? How Honestly, they could leaked? just be doing this now for more attention. This was leaked by Lil Tay. Y'all stupid if you guys fall for this. Okay, wait, though, I do say that, but then, like, that one girl posted that video of her just, like, beating her fucking dog. I made a YouTube video about it. You guys remember, please go watch. Whether it was deliberate or not, one thing had been established. The whole thing had been confirmed as an act with her brother involved to some Man, extent, no and the news no spread shit. like wildfire across YouTube. Surprise, surprise, Lil Tay's internet persona is fake. With Lil Tay's expose being so public, her former friend and fellow flexer, Wal Vicky, would post a video titled The Truth About Lil Tay no! and Wal Vicky, where she would confirm that the whole thing was hey, being son, controlled what class by- are you playing in Baldur's Gate 3? Wizard, bro, Vicky, she turned on her. Her brother. She don't know nothing about flexing. It's it's her brother that runs her account. And it's her brother that tells her. You're not even a real flexer. You don't know nothing about flexing. Oh, you vague. What to do? And it's her brother in her ear. 
At this point, it was all starting to add up, especially when considering another incident where a live stream had been started on Little Tay's Instagram. However, when the volume button on the phone was accidentally pressed, the screen would disappear to reveal that it was her brother setting up the live stream. Possibly to protect the reputation <laughs> of her brother, Little Tay would appear on the new show, Good Morning America, claiming that she was the one behind the character. This is my decision i'm happy with what i'm doing however this interview would also reveal that little tay's mother was involved in the whole operation Jump one of scare. the unanswered questions still up in the air at this point was how was little tay getting access to so many luxury homes and cars when she was so young individuals like Cody Co thought that since she was likely being controlled by some powerful media figure they must have set them up for her however this wasn't the case little Rich tay's parents. mother actually happened to be a vancouver real estate agent and would use her luxury listings to film the videos in additionally oh Damn. Okay, that's actually really smart. You're just selling the houses so you have access to them? Oh, that's kind of grimy, though. Ooh. She would use her boss's luxury cars, such as a Bentley and a Mercedes, which would have been fine. However, she didn't have permission to do so. After noticing oh, the videos online, whoa, Lil Tay's mother crazy. would be fired from the agency with the business stating, when we found out about this activity last week, we had to dismiss her, and that oh, the no. behavior in Lil Tay's videos had no- Jim Liu is his name. Jim Liu. A place in the real estate industry. After being exposed as no a joke total there. fraud, Lil Tay had nowhere to go. The act didn't work anymore now that everyone knew that it was fake. Lil Tay would post one final Instagram post as a tribute to XXX Tentacion. Then I read it as Lim Jew too, I'm sorry. Yes. Instagram clean by deleting every single post, which is where the real tragedy of Lil Tay began to come to the surface. Not true, Sonny. After remaining completely silent. Help me is old news? You little ugly fuckers, help me as old news? We already told, we, okay, you guys told me about help me five minutes ago. I pull it up. We all had a moment. I got goosebumps on my armies, okay? Not my, not, not, not my men ready to die for me, but my arms, okay? And, and, and we all had this moment of, oh my God, she put help me. This is scary. This video's from years ago and the help, was, bro, I thought we were cracking the code, dip. You didn't know either? Okay, all right, all right. For approximately three weeks, a story would be posted to the Lil Tay Instagram page saying nothing but the two words, help me. It'd be oh, wait, we're back, we're back, we're back, wait, we're back, Tay it was, was on Instagram. To be mentioned in an Eminem song. Wait, it was, it was, we're on Instagram? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh shit, we're back, we're back, chat. That the deletion of every post on Little Tay's Instagram was the result of a rebranding strategy while she had been staying with a new manager in LA. Little Tay is currently staying at her new manager's home in Los Angeles. His name is Diomi Cordero, and he deleted all of Tay's Instagram. Mm -mm, that's a super villain name, bro. Post because he's planning to completely rebrand her. Was this story stating help me just a new branding method to get people talking about her again? Whether or not it was a deliberate strategy. That is weird, bro. Conspiracy theories. This is exactly what it did. Living with your manager Instagram like, star, Lil as a, like a, a nine, ten year old being no longer living with her parents and living with some manager guy. <sighs> what was he before this? A groomer? I don't know everything from Instagram and left a cryptic message. Controversial nine-year-old Instagram star sparks concern after deleting all her social media posts before sharing an eerie message saying, help me. Despite asking for help in the Instagram story, Lil Tay wouldn't provide any context, never actually specifying what it was that Bro. she needed help with. This seemed like confirmation that the help message was a publicity stunt as a help message with no further information is completely useless to anyone reading it. However, three months later, Lil Tay would reveal the truth behind why she had posted the help me message. On the 22nd of October 2018, a post would show up on the Lil Tay Instagram page stating, This was Lil Tay the last time she was happy. Two hours before Christopher John Hope, her abusive absentee father who hasn't been in her life for years, handed her a court order forcing her to go to his home in Canada, in which she was constantly by Hope and his wife. He banned her off of social media because he was afraid she would expose the truth to the world, the truth of what he has done and hasn't been punished for. For the past few months, he's been trying to destroy Tay and her mother's life for his own financial gain. In the what? three Bro, that is Call of Duty World at War music. Sonny, what are you, bro? I'm sorry. What the fuck? What Comrades! Well, listen, I got you. Listen, 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 ready? Listen, ready. Hold on. For his own financial gain. Comrade! Pass In the three me months the between gun, the help comrade! message and the Allegations. Lil Tay had lost more than two. The LA County Coroner's Office told the Daily Beast that they have no record of Lil Tay or her brother at all.
and her manager was told not to speak on anything by order of their mother. Sussy indeed. This reeks of a mother trying to milk a dry cow. Listen, man, I don't want to... No absolutes here, bro, because then you got all these clips of you sitting here going, all saying all this shit, and meanwhile, there's just a dead kid. So, like, be cool. I'm saying, listen, I hope it's not true. That is my official statement on it. I hope it's not true. Instagram followers was writing out her own father a desperate attempt to put her monthly follower count back in the green after realizing that a simple help me message wasn't going to cut the mustard alternatively on the more conspiratorial end cut the mustard what if the dad who was possibly receiving a share bro look at this like signs ass photo of the <laughs> look at this like this is such an interesting shot was this on the news or something it's so absurd bro's cutting the mustard that's on god from Little Tay's fame, was a part of it the whole time and knew that the story would receive more attention if they built a narrative it? around how she was being a by him. Well, apparently this wasn't the case. As court so documents sad. would then I be released outlining the legal battle between Little Tay and her father, stating some of the bad things that apparently constituted a However, personally, I think some of the points just show that Little Tay and her mother didn't actually have that much dirt on the father. Sl Slammed the door on Tay's foot and broke her toenail when she was angry at Tay. Asked Tay to bake for herself and Tay's fingers got burnt. Chris Hope often made Tay watch scary movies. If you ask me, none of these really constitute a b and could easily be dismissed as accidents, standard childhood experiences, and overly embellished attempts at discrediting the father. Little Tay's dad would then go on. I'll say this. Here's what I'll say about that. I'm not going to discredit that those are or aren't abuse, but what I am going to say is when I first heard the accusations, I thought of this, right? We all thought of something. We thought of a few things, right? We all did. And I looked at that man like he was an evil, evil man. And then I, you read the court documents and you go, hmm. Okay. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not, again, not discrediting what she went through or anything like that. I'm just simply saying, I think we all know what I'm saying. This is a roller coaster. I know. One thing gets said. It just, it, 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 I don't, it's great. He touched kids. Listen, hey, well. On and make a public statement about why he had taken little Tay. When my daughter's social media began to go viral this year, I disagreed with most of the social media activity. I took legal steps to stop things which I felt were dangerous to her physical and mental health and to her future. The issue with this whole thing was that every situation could have easily been reinterpreted to fit little Tay's narrative. Little Tay has no money left to pay lawyers for fighting for her freedom. Her father has stolen everything from her. Was this just a dramatic way of saying that the father has taken control over her finances because apparently the statement was written by AI and this person has proof of it <sighs> boys 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 I am balls deep maybe not maybe I shouldn't use that term I am very interested um hey the plot is thicker than my penis which is balls deep in this story maybe it's not the best idea to let a nine-year-old control hundreds of thousands of dollars she likely earned during her short time in the sun is forcing little tay to wear broken and ripped shoes and socks to school not just a normal thing for a parent to do what constitutes broken and ripped anything more than a week old a month old a year old where's the line when i was in school it was a status symbol to be wearing shoes that were literally falling apart on the actually true though actually very true also, I, I, we used to wear black socks to work. Uh, I, mean, I was a man, true, but I was still... Actually, no, I was, I was 17. I, I, I wore black socks to work to hide the shoes that had holes in them because I didn't want to buy new shoes. I didn't paint it. Maybe I did paint it, but whatever. Who are you? What are you, a cop? Shut up. What do you want? the playground but apparently these days it's abuse to send little tay to school with broken shoes the father is a lawyer in vancouver he doesn't seem to be just some no-name drongo that's trying to leech off his daughter's success drongo. however no i could be wrong with drongo. this perhaps with the background in law he's using his knowledge to ensure that he's entitled to a proportion of her earnings but from his perspective he stated everyone else involved in the situation is motivated by money and the possibility of making money off of my daughter i'm not fighting about money i'm fighting for my daughter for her happiness and for damn her hey i'm gonna take my own advice of, of, of earlier in the stream and say this this sounds complicated i'm not gonna weigh in on this side of things because i have this sounds really fucking complicated 
a future. Approximately four months ago, after two and a half years of complete silence on all social media, Lil Tay's brother would return to the Instagram account, announcing the commencement of the court case between Lil Tay and her father. Five posts were uploaded, once again attempting to discredit the father and provide evidence that Lil Tay had been a Accompanying the post would be a GoFundMe for Little Tay's legal defense with a goal of $150,000. However, the fund would raise Have the cursor in. Here's, it's, not, it's not about, okay, let me be clear. It's not about fear of, of not winning it. It's about there is nothing I could say that would have any sort of value because this conversation is so messy. You'd have to be so intimately involved with it. And every person involved has motivation to be lying through their teeth. So why risk absolutely shitting down the throat of someone who doesn't deserve it and spreading that right it's not that i'm afraid there are two sides and i'm looking at it going damn either one of them could be totally full of shit i could sit here and i could spend the next next eight hours becoming intimately uh, uh understanding of the of all the details but i don't want it i don't care that much so instead i'm gonna go damn that looks complicated but it's not fear thousand dollars on one of the instagram posts it was stated by the brother he can say in the press i love her and i want the best for her but anybody can say that however simultaneously to apply the same principle anyone can say this is not a marketing scheme how do we know that this sixteen thousand dollars went anywhere near this apparent legal case god how do this we know is that so these videos messy bro i old? just wanted to know who little tay was dude this is so and messy only being uploaded now to oh milk the final god. bit of little tay's relevancy this is like, for money why did the gofundme I... start on the same day that Sunny, the case commenced? wouldn't this mean that the lawyers were already in place Ah, Wouldn't you have wanted so the money in preparation for the court case? <laughs> it's just, but a bit of it, a bit of What evidence do you have? This is, dude, this is what learning about the case does to a motherfucker right here. How that the court case even exists. The tragic tale of Little Tay proves one thing and one thing only. You can say whatever you want on the internet. It's so simple to frame anything Actually in your favor true, by simply making it a little bit dramatic with a few basic arguments. Okay, but what he did just say though, regardless of the side you're on, is so fucking true. You, I mean, it is... It is so easy to win over the public for a short amount of time. At the end of the day, Little Tay is a character who was built on nothing but lie after lie after lie about who she really was. Why would there be any shift from lying about who she was in every single post to suddenly telling the truth about what was happening in this court case? All right, Chad, is, who the f Oh my God, we have media share I forgot about. Oh, fuck. We have to, oh my God, we have media share we gotta get through. Oh no, I totally forgot, yo. All right, um, let me, let me, okay, I have to pee. I'm gonna turn on AITTS. You guys talk amongst yourselves while I go pee. All right, chair stream or whatever you, whatever ICC says. All right, I'm gonna go pee, I'll be right back. The poop accelerates. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. I'm horny as fuck, man. I'm a freak. How's your night going, chat? Hey, Chat Dwayne here. I have one request, just one. Can we spam the word zip, please? Love you. Really? Oh, yeah, del he deleted that real quick, bro. Stop sending messages and pretend to be asleep. Really, bro. Really. Okay, um, fuck. I yapped. I yapped. 
and I yapped. I, my... I pride myself and think of myself as a man of faith as there's a drive into deep left field by Castellanos. And that'll be a home run. And so that'll make it a four to zero ball game. I don't know if I'll be putting on this headset again, <laughs> whether that be for the Reds or my bosses at Fox. Yeah. Hey, chat, welcome to your sneak peek at what majority of what the dubathon will be. True. You know, what's funny is I have been avoiding subathons for years or whenever Ludwig did it. The second Ludwig did it, everyone was like, Wubby, when are you doing one? And I always said, nope, nope, nope. And you're finally going to find out this Friday what it's like. What is a subathon? What is the point of it? And you're going to have this moment where you're going to go, damn, Wubby was so right. What time are you start on Friday? I think five or five, like normal stream time-ish. Don't worry, bro. If you miss the start of the subathon, you can tune in any fucking time. All right. We have 28 minutes of, uh, of, um, what is this shit called? <laughs> Media share. Um, I got to get through it and I'm going to be honest with you guys. You, you got to get through it. So shut up and sit down. How much time per sub? I'm not sure. We have so much stuff planned for the subathon this Friday. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be, guys, it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. Oh my god! If I, 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 I oh god! All the right. twenty-four hour stream was pretty fun a few years ago. That was fun. I had a lot of fun with that. I'm never doing that again, though. Uh, will we get a board game stream? Probably. Yeah, probably some simple board game. Uh, he's gonna do point one second for a sub. <laughs> stream starts. Stream ends. Does it start at normal time? Around normal time, yeah. And we'll probably give you guys like an hour for free, or maybe less. That's gonna be fun. I mean, listen, listen. Here's the reality, right? The beauty of the subathon is it is fully self-sufficient. If you don't like it, you have the power to end it. Oh, I forgot to mention something. We are doing a, a, a check-in, by the way. You'll get a there's we're gonna be doing a Discord check-in and you'll get a roll and shit. But um here's here's the uh here's the beauty of it. If you guys don't like it, you don't have to support Dwayne, why are you gifting hundreds of subs right now? <sighs> Um, okay, hold on. I gotta, I, I have, I have food. Hold on. I, I'm gonna eat during this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Dwayne. So here's something that I don't know if Alex has announced it on her stream yet, but I'll announce it here. So for the subathon, um, very importante. The Alex and I are both going to be live at the same time, same feed. Alex is uh, when you when you give subs to Wubby, it adds time on the clock. When you give subs to Alex, it takes time off the clock. So we're really giving you guys ah, the chance. Does baby need his macro is now. That's not one to one. It's not going to be one to one. It's not going to be one sub takes away the same amount as one sub adds. It. Adding will always give you, it'll be the better value, right? Um, okay, but what is the food? This is lean ground turkey, potatoes, cheese, uh, like a, like, just like hot sauce, and um, um, keto or whatever, what kind of tortillas are These are like the low-carb tortillas. Um, oh, that's hot. Oh, that's really spicy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Skipping this video. Sorry. We already saw it. Man, I don't want to eat in a green screen suit, guys. You're not going to make me do that, right? Is this n is this real? <laughs> I hate that I'm even asking that, but is this real? Oh, it's like a wax figure. Hey. You know, Island Boy's really taken into their own hands answering that question. If you were to like clone yourself and then fuck yourself, is it, is it incest or is it, is it, or is, it, or is it masturbation or get, you know, because I was thinking the whole time, I'm like, man, I should get like a real one of those made for me. And then my first thought is I want to suck my own dick. And then I'm like, but wait, isn't that just what the Island boys are doing?
Man, wrapping up Media Share is always just the worst, isn't it? I know. I know. Don't look at my hair. My hair is 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 so bad right now. I need a hat. I've never liked the French, I'll be honest with you. If you yes. put 70 French people in front of me, I don't like them. The way they, they're like, <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Bro, so true. Yo, Theo Vaughn came out of nowhere, huh? I need to shit, need to shit my pants. I take a breath and assume my stance. Push all the shit right out of my ass. It's coming out hard and it's coming out fast. I took a shit and it really stinks. I took a shit that'll make you Someone bought shorts during that. Thank you. People. Come on, people. You'll pull through. I know you can. Shake it off, people. Self-diagnose. You can make it. Don't leave me, people. People! Damn. I feel like we just got a window into something really tragic. I don't know why. Bodybuilders. Bodybuilders? I like skinny, scrawny guys. How about multimillionaires? <laughs> How about eight inches and thick? How about talent? And respectful. I lost my wife 10 weeks ago. 21 years faithful. My daughter committed suicide three weeks ago. Imagine speaking of your daughter's suicide in the same sentence that you described your penis as eight inches in thick. Oh shit. 13. She was faster than me at 12, and I run a six-minute mile. My testimony, I'm nothing but pure, and I ask you if you want to be in the YouTube channel. And you like scrawny guys. I know he'd trauma dump on us like that. That was insane, dude. What the fuck? On body language. You know, body language oh, like tells this, you a yeah. lot about what a person's true. Thinking. True. Instance, that means she has an interest in the finer things in life. True. That means she also wants a little fun in her life, but only with the right man. True. And now she's pouring a Colt 45. Dwayne just gifted 100 more. That... Dwayne has gifted 300 subs tonight. The two but does she breathe out her ass? Subathon. Dwayne is not going to be there for the subathon. So this, I guess this is his way. <laughs> Thank you, Dwayne. So cool. That would have added about six minutes. <laughs> Dwayne, there's a subathon. He's not going to be here for it. You mind if I join you? You must have read my mind. Something like that. The power of Colt 45. It works every time. Very rapey. Not going to lie. Very rapey. Right now! If I'm grittying in this, I end stream. You guys have ruined this scene for me. I can't see it now without thinking of me grittying. I'm just scanning the troops, bro. Did I just see me grittying? No, there's no way. <laughs> no, I'm seeing things. Bro, you're so in my head with this shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is just like the OG clip. Oh, I guess. Okay. No. 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 There's... Go back? You guys are just fucking with me. 
And I can't, and that's it. There's none. That's it. <laughs> you saw it? There was none! Don't click whoa. that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say that. Children are temperate. It was there. It was in the first five seconds. Put it on the subreddit then. Hey, yo, man, I don't know if go now. I'm going to take a verse right now. Blue moon up, Kentucky, keep on shining. We'll shine on the one that's going to prove done true. Blue moon up. Are you going to play Baldur's Gate on stream? No. Um, mainly because I don't think it's the best game to watch. Like, I don't know. I, I, I like not being on when I'm playing. Okay, hold on. Wait. Where does it hurt? This is the wrong video. Also, Wilro, Blue Jean Baby, time-coded light show? Okay, we've, we've seen this. I am skipping. I don't give a fuck. I rewound it. Hopefully that fixes it. Hopefully Will Rose. <gasps> no! Oh, no. Is it to say? Oh. Oh, he won't let us watch it. Homeboy said, I'm going to donate this. You don't get to see it. Y'all can look it up yourself. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, weird power move. Care for a cup of Wilkins coffee? No, I don't like coffee. This has been a public service. We're here to persuade people to drink more Wilkins coffee. What's the club for? This season on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way. I haven't really checked in with my spirit guides, but they've been trying to tell me to calm down. I am clairvoyant, and no. I met my fiancé through a dream. No, 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 you didn't. Oh, brother. Now I am moving to India 10 days before my wedding. I want to watch you sleep. For the past two years, I spent every single second on video call with Mary. Oh. We eat, we sleep, we do phones. If I hit play and we get any amount of this man's ass, Stream will be gone. The VOD will be gone. Sex. And I can't wait to finally be together with Mary. Meeting Kirsten just felt right. So I'm moving to the Netherlands to be with her. Wait, wait. That, hey, you're good. That's a... This one shouldn't even be on the show, bro. Sorry. E easy dub for this guy. Like, that's... Cur oh, oh, no. Oh, I gotta move to the Never Netherlands. Ooh. Oh, I gotta... Oh, I gotta marry this, like, fucking... Absolute... Fair skin queen, oh, ooh. Okay, dude. Makeup. <laughs> oh, her like family is like super wealthy and she's like really beautiful. Oh, oh I'm moving to like a paradise. <laughs> there are people over here, it's like, yeah, so I'm going to like the middle of the desert. We're gonna be living out of a hut and shitting in a bucket. Uh, we also don't speak the same language and I have no interest in learning. Um, how many more? <laughs> Even though I've only spent one week in person with Wayne, I'm giving up everything for him. But I know without a doubt Who the, the fuck, one. dude? Oh, my baby. Oh, man. His face looked like a first attempt at, like, sculpting with clay, didn't it? Why does this yeah, always get donated? Yeah, dude. <sighs> it's like they don't I don't give them refunds either. Why? Oh, here we go. <laughs> you shouldn't be I'm not proud, you know. I am who I am. Okay? I am who I am. Yet. I see these on TikTok. Wanna open a present early? Ah! Oh god, why? That was so loud. Our secret. You're on the naughty list. Welcome to Naughty Land. The reindeer are hungry. That was.
was I don't, okay. Whatever. She does All porn too. What has he got? I'm pretty sure I would. I can't have him on my screen. I don't this know. This is the 112. Right here. Yes. This is fucking it. I'm gonna have to just. I'm gonna have to find the actual whole bit off of it, and I'm gonna have to get it. Look at that Yoshi. Look at Yoshi. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that line. Look at that Dude, line. Dude, what a rush. Look at the line. What a rush. Watch this. Look, Watch look at that line. Me. Look at that. See how fast my face is? Right in the fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> Got a fucking 112, baby! That's right! You see that clutchness? I am fucking clutch! <laughs> Look at this fucking line I take. I'm okay. like, yeah, baby! Let's fucking do this! Yeah. I wait, I wait, I wait. Right when he starts firing, they're trying to back boost me, the double. Body armor. Two quick ones. I already know I'm getting there on the perfect line. <laughs> Look at the fucking pace! 50, 49, 47, baby! That's fucking right! That's fucking it! Fucking I love punk the watching this one again. I waited the cinema too because I. Said, I love how happy he is. I, I just th that kind of passion is fun no matter what. Oh, fish content. Oh, reg dude, it's I saw on the subreddit. Time. Let's get. I saw on the subreddit. People are like, "You ruined the word regarded for me." It's used in 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 day to day. It's used at my office. It'll be like, "Oh, regard like this," and I'm like, "I'm sorry." And I'll be honest, you guys ruined it for me too. Every time I see the word, yeah, kind regards, I'm like. Something nice. <laughs> Get last night's dream going. I know someone isn't calling a tank of tropical fish on a weekday. What could you possibly want? Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I told you to stop calling us. We are always under the water. I don't have time for this. It's almost chow time. Let's see what we missed last night, boys. I hope Wubby's dad talks about angel fish today. Oh, they're fish. They're okay. I get it. I Not <laughs> man, that stopped me in my tracks, bro. <gasps> oh, yo, we're back. They're all, uh, none of them are hot. I'm not attracted to any of them. Not attracted to any of them. Frog is back, and this is K-pop sensation La Seraphim. Just like all the other videos, you and chat will figure out which one member cannot consent to getting a tattoo without a legal parent or guardian. Not only that, but in these videos, you'll also try to identify which of these members was in a previous video before. Oh, so, we know the rules, so let's start now. All right. All right, huh? I believe the girl whose head is in the blonde girl's lap. The girl whose head is in the blonde girl's lap. Far left. Furthest left. Furthest left. That's my final answer. That's my final answer. Ooh! Why? 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 What? What is happening? The answer was Unche. Unche was the answer at the time of this. And I was trying to be like fucked up, but which one's that? <laughs> so, yeah, we, uh. Music video. She was 16 uh, years old. Wow! Of course, that's not the only question that needs to be answered. That, I mean, she had me fooled. I'll be real. Boys, check IDs at the door. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Wubby, chat, which of these members have we seen before? 24. Well, you've 24. actually seen this person for the third the top. time. Damn, the dude, last I, time I mixed them. Okay, wait. All of the K-pop queens, I, I get them mixed up. 
not a general statement. I'm saying just these. I sometimes mix up who's, you know. You saw her was at the end of the Up To You 24. video. 24. There she went and said. Bless you. And on top of that, she gives a very memorable moment. As a matter of fact, instead of me telling you, why don't I show you a little clip of that moment? That girl's under 18. That girl's under 18. I'm locked in middle. <laughs> so yes, Che Won was the answer. She is not and, and which one was that? Not only the leader of La Seraphim, but she is a former member of iZone. Who the fuck, well, bro? Who the fuck? I can't, bro, I cannot keep up with any of this. Chat, thank you so much for thank your you. time. I hope you thank enjoyed you. this video and future videos to come. Thank and you. Enjoy the rest of today's content. Thank you. Bro, how they got her doing the same dance and she's what, 16? How they how they going how they going to do this to us? That is it's definitely kind of odd. It's definitely kind of odd. You got to think about that, right? Like. What's wrong with you? <clears throat> she was 16, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, we're back. Fuck. Or was it the right video? Oh, it was the right video. What's <laughs> В отличие от тебя трехлетнего, я сорокалетний лоб играть в шахматы не умею. Поэтому мы тебе нашли достойного противника. Я приглашаю в эту студию 12-го чемпиона мира по шахматам, международного гроссмейстера, заслуженного мастера спорта СССР Анатолия Карпова. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Fucking stupid kids scared of a guy walking. Bro, imagine being in public, you little dipshit. <laughs> little bro. I heard oh, uh, no. that. Whoa! Bro! What is this interview, bro? Joe on a boat, dude. Old Thin Wubby, I think I'm thinner now than I was in this interview, but thank you. What? There was an invitation to come on your boat at some point, and I would love to hang out with you on your boat. You know, I get a lot of flares on my boat, and some of them have expired. Some of them have expired a long time ago. I think it'd be a lot of fun if we got together <laughs> His voice. and shot him off. That was the that was did you that interview i did with him was i i don't e i don't even know how to describe it that was one of the fucking weirdest things yeah i don't even god what even happened to joe on a boat i remember you saying he was cool yeah i have nothing bad to say about him it, it just what the fuck take a great bite from these railings on the night of the 25th you are going to die! I am going to ultra kill you! I will spend the rest of my life tracking you down. I will find you. You will never <laughs> sleep again. God will not save you. I am coming for you! I know, I, but you know that dude is so fucking... You've been missing out on... Oh no. What is this gonna be? I can't I can't trust my own YouTube videos, by the way, chat, when you donate them. Oh wait, this one's not bad. Guys, I said no no words. You've been missing out on. Dude, we went to laser tag last night and we fucked kids. Go support the <laughs> I can't even be mad. That's my edit, bro. Channel guys, Twitch is my main source. <laughs> we think they okay. I was gonna say they cut it off, but I, that was me. We fucked kids up. We fucked kids up. Okay. In laser tag. Oh, God. All right. I guess I'll eat during this one. 
I'm walking to a farm to grow wheat. What color is the I'm duck? Walking to a farm One of these days I'll get the order. To grow wheat. The sky is Damn it! Blue. It's always sky! The sun is yellow. I'm walking to a farm. Oh, I didn't even think about wheat. a gritty. The duck is white. The pond is gray. I'm walking to a farm to grow wheat. What is it? Yeah. My I feel bad for new viewers. Just, I don't have an explanation for you. Also, this is like the whole video that just got donated, bro. This was probably like a hundred plus dollar donation. This is the rare part. This is rare. Either I skip it or it doesn't get donated. In fact, I don't even know what happens after this. The glipper? I mean, we might as well see it out to the end now. The sky is blue. The sun is yellow. I'm walking to a farm. The sun is yellow. Okay, I know you didn't remember that the end goes yell. <laughs> Not a single one of you remember that. Don't even yell. <laughs> I didn't know that at all. Okay. <clears throat> That's good. Body power That's that you can shake. What could be next? Uh, Shack Shaker, Chameleon Fitness, Flabby Buster BM. It's time to get Jack with Shacks, Whack, Jack, or Chameleon. Stout your abs, midsection, nipple area, Flabby. All right. Thank you. Only six more minutes, guys, and then you're free. Can anybody say they know the general? <laughs> that his lungs might be. <laughs> In his ass. All right, I'm just not. You guys, come on. You could do so much better than that, dude. <laughs> come on. That's a ringtone? That's some Looney Tune shit, long, bro. What? A long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. Yo, that's weird. <clears throat> that's weird. And I knew if I had my chance. Then I could make those people dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. There's times where I'm like, damn, that sounds just like him. Very strange. I've heard some ones that are like crazy good. Cotney is in Sonic two. the Hedgehog, one of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought of. He can run at sound speed, take out enemies in a flash, and best of all, he's blue colored and knows how to handle the females. Speaking of females, the Sonic universe might also be classified as hot chick heaven because there's such a mess of very beautiful and tough women that it'll make you love the franchise even more. And since- No, oh, see those are the ones I want more of, dude. <laughs> what? You may have those silver feet, but I've got these gold fingers. Here I go! Sonic! Can I tell you something, chat, that I love about watching things on the stream? I'll be watching something I don't know anything about, right? I don't know. I don't know what anime that was. I have no clue, right? 
and I'll look over and like, it's always right as it's happening or a, a second or two before. In all caps, people will be excitedly spamming what's about to come. So I just saw a bunch of people, Sonic Fingers! And I'm like, huh? And then he says it and it's almost like you guys are like, yes! It just makes me happy. You guys do it with, I see, I don't wanna, you know when someone does something kind of- that's my shit. You know, see what I mean? You know when someone does something cute and you don't want to point it out to them because then you don't want them to start doing it knowing that think that you think it's cute or you don't want them to stop doing it? That's I've I've loved that about y'all for years doing that shit. Whoops. I skipped that on. I don't know if I care. <clears throat> Me after Wubby, I recently got the brand risk flavor and I don't even okay. like anything peach, but this shit bangs brograts at pay money, Wubby. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not even lying. I'm, oh, I get it. Um, the the I was I tried their new flavor, blood orange, just now. I was been drinking it on stream, and I'm so biased. I'm broken. My flavor's just better. I'm you sorry. You need to learn to accept yourself for who you are. That's easy for you to say with your perfect face. God, dude, I'm an idiot. Don't even. Did he say Sonic fingers? Wait. Come here, <laughs> Wait. Did I say it wrong? <laughs> Wait. What is? Why is there what what is this poll? What's wrong? Did I say or did who's the question? The bad poll! It doesn't make what are you saying? Oh shining fingers. <laughs> I definitely said sonic fingers. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey chat, you know what makes brand risk even better? Lime what? fire Get and at me. I'm gonna die in the radiator and drink me out. Okay. What? Why'd you stop? Didn't that guy recently die? <laughs> Bro, this is not. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> I love parentheses. Indian. Take Tommy Koo! Thank you. Life is Roblox. Guys, yeah, someone on the subreddit posted this earlier, and I'm just going to put it. He doesn't say life is Roblox. He's saying life is roadblocks. I know you might want to take some time off of work. You might want to, you know, call somebody. God! God that's not him. That can't be him. That can't be him. Here we are again. I can't resist the thought of seeing what an MG42 sounds like to be shot at. We'll have my admin clone shoot at me for this bit. Why did Dwayne just gift another 100 subs? Dwayne. Dwayne. Dwayne, you know, I know you're going to be gone for the next week. I understand that. But you could, I mean, you could just pulled up your phone. Dwayne, are you okay? Dwayne, Dwayne. Dwayne, come back. Come, just check in on Friday. See if you're in the number one spot. If you are, did he just gift another hundred? Or I, did it just refresh? What are you, Dwayne? Dwayne, are you okay, Dwayne? And we'll see what it sounds like. I'm actually really excited because I'm assuming it's going to be terrifying. Just wait. Just wait two days, Dwayne. I know it's okay. They're saying this was terrifying. Personally, I'm not. I wouldn't be scared. Personally, I'd whip up. Okay, I'd whip up my gun. I'd have a. I'd have a bolt action rifle with just iron sights. I'd press V. Time would stop. Time would freeze. It would zoom in on him. Right. I would then select his head. It would probably say 42% chance at him with three shots. One of the three would hit. His head would explode, and I would go loot him. Personally, this doesn't scare me at all. Thank you, Dwayne. Dwayne, if you were one of the 500 people who 500. People who just got gifted a sub, please add Dwayne. Thanks, Dwayne. Dwayne doing the autism thing where the subathon's in two days, but he's gonna just go crazy now. I pull out my gun, I enter Vats. Super angry Pac Man frog barks and screams. Dwayne said, Help me, and he pinned it. Now ah, we can remove that. He's fine. He doesn't need help. <laughs> Little Tay looking ass. That's a reference to the. Her, not the uh. That's not a reference to the recent news of Lil Tay. That's a reference to her YouTube that we... Come on, guys. Sonic Fingers! <laughs>
Oh. Testing. Bro, do you think you got banned and you said testing? We got some stop motion, huh? Sheesh. Goddamn. 75 seconds left, chat. Okay. Hmm. Um. If you know, you know. Do we risk it? No. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to watch it on my other monitor. Come in here, please. Oh, Raymond, this dog has no license and is clearly in violation of the leash law. Call the pound. I already did, sir. The truck is waiting outside. <laughs> that was good. That was good. My I love Ormond. <laughs> this is the last video. This is it. Focus, focus. There's pizza on your focus. <laughs> okay, hold on. What a way to end, first of all, but I'm not going to let this slide. That is the most disgusting looking slice of pizza I've ever seen in my entire life. And I can understand why you threw that on a car. Bro, that is prison pizza. That is so... That looks... I don't even like frozen pizza. And I would have frozen pizza over this every day. I do not know what the fuck that is. That is a pizza crime, dude. As British pizza... Bro, I've been hearing nothing but bad things about British food. Focus, focus. There's pizza on your focus. <laughs> that is so gross. Bro, UK is just cold and sad. All right, folks. I say goodbye tonight, but I say goodbye as someone who in two days will be doing a dubathon with Alex. I don't know what to expect. I'm scared. I'm excited. I'm already annoyed. I'm easily irritated. And, um, well, I'll see you there. Maybe it'll end in a day. Maybe it won't. I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a nice night. Love you.